Oh, okay, fair enough. <laughs> I have forgotten. Yeah, yeah, I fixed it now. <laughs> hey, Reddy, sorry about that. But yeah, yeah, he, they would have been able to hear everyone else, just not me, because OBS is a dick and did not register my clicks. Um, <clears throat> hi. <laughs> so last week, um, Team Awful Neutral managed to lock their way through Ravenloft. No real issues at all. <laughs> they managed to find a back door into the castle. The back door into the castle literally went into a staircase down to the exact place they needed to be. They went in there and managed to happily talk their way over the one guy they found there who led them almost straight to the skull, which they then took and teleported out. <laughs> Some call it luck. Others call it magic. Some call it Amara. Pretty much. Amara did Amara. Yeah. <laughs> To be fair, Mara did, did, did do a lot of the charming and shit. Considering them really socially inept, I think I did pretty well. It's okay, as long as the person you're talking to is a mongrel folk. <laughs> I mean, yeah, mongrel folk are pretty, uh, pretty talk charmable, <laughs> to be fair. But yeah, it went, it seemed to have gone pretty well for them last week. So, yeah, <laughs> they've done okay. So, we are now on the path of Argon. We're now on the path to Argon Vassalt. Currently, you are camped out up by the map. Oh, yeah. Up by the, uh, on the map, sorry. On the map, you're up by the gate, the Iron Gate. <sighs> yeah, so that's currently where you are. You went to sleep, you, re you regained everything, you kind of rested. In your lovely and little hut. Where, <laughs> where would you like to go now? So you wake up in the morning. You are fully refreshed. You wake up and like... Theron's basically leaning against the skull. <laughs> the Nara hasn't left left it very far away either. They, they both are kind of pretty, sticking pretty close to it. Did you... we manage to fit it in Liam's tiny hut? <laughs> yes. Yes, it was a tighter squeeze than usual, but yes. <laughs> we were just sleeping on a skull inside a tiny house. Essentially. <laughs> bom, bom, bom. But yeah, that's how pretty much how things went. So yeah. You wake up in the morning fully refreshed. Next to a skull. Okay, well. The heart disappears, and I guess we are immediately on our way, because Strahd should be waking up. Yeah... You've probably got about another 12 hours until Strahd is ready to come kick your ass. I mean, okay, to, to wake up. Make <laughs> a move. Go. We have 12 hours to do this. So we go to Argonvast Cult. Oh, yeah, good so I'm assuming tired. that we follow the path. Yeah, I'm surprised Amara didn't oh, think about that. Oh yeah, thank you. <laughs> Please electrocute me. So, Theron yes. lights up his blades with electricity. They, and then basically hits Amara in the face with it. Let's not say the face, that's mean. <laughs> and hits Amara with no. the back of the swords. Sending electric current through her body mm -hmm. and keeping her heart beating. Which is important. Hooray. It's kind of important in this day and age. Gah. Just as a question. Yes. If someone was to carry me at a, at a walking pace... Yes. Would that put a detriment on them? Depends how strong they are. And how light Excuse you are. Me. Depends how strong so, they are and depends on how light your character is. My character is pretty light. I've made her 55 pounds as a weight because I decided she would be very, very petite and tiny. <laughs> 55 pounds? Yeah. That's what I wrote, apparently. So I'm basically nothing. <laughs> you what? <laughs> I'm going to have to rewrite this. I think I meant 55 kilos, and the page has put pounds at the end, so I'm just like, oh. So, in pounds, 55 kilos. In pounds, 55 kilos is 121 pounds. There we go. So she's about 121 pounds, and she's only about <laughs> 5 foot 1. Oh, wow. Even the Lara's taller than her. I thought Lenara was quite short. Oh, Amara's the little one. I made Amara a little bit of a midget. Oh, 
too much energy. Amara's oh. tiny. I'm Tiji. Did you just reuse Nyx's character sheet and forgot to change some you values? You just thought so, I just added an extra couple of feet. <laughs> <laughs> But Perfect. yeah, so she's 121 pounds. Okie dokie. Well, that's that's not a massive load. That's a word I don't... That's a phrase I should never say. No. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Quoted. Right. You'd have to, I guess, organise who's carrying the skull. Because if two of you carry the skull, one of you could carry Amara. Because she does move very slowly, thanks to her second dark power detriment. Yay. Or are carrying the skull. And I'll carry Amara. Okay. Which makes sense, because you was the fastest anyway. You do move the fastest. Baggage. Actually, I'll say that because of that, you do, I mean, you do move at extra speed. And mm. what is your strength? My strength is... One moment... Uh, Twelve. That's okay, plus you've one. got a plus one. You're not a detriment. <laughs> so I'll say, yeah, no, I'll say that's fine. You can... You mean you guys aren't going to be sprinting anyway? But I'll say you can move at a normal walking pace if you like got Amara on your back or something. Yeah, that's fine. I was going to say I'm considerably taller than Amara. I think Ray is like six two or something stupid. Mm. Six foot. She's, She's really tall. Big. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> so yeah, that's I just think that would make this go a little faster. Yeah. 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 You would have been going significantly slower if you uh, if you hadn't done that. So that's so quite a good Amara move. Amara is going to ask yeah. Ray very nicely. <laughs> <laughs> Get on my back. Okay, that's not a problem. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. That just reminds me of like that bird that's like, Berkey, no miss Smash. <laughs> Why did you put that bird's voice on? I didn't mean to. <laughs> it's just, I don't know. This th these these things happen. <laughs> Ray. Let me ride. Oh okay. my god. <laughs> <laughs> now I need to make a character where that's their voice. Constantly. <laughs> okay, yeah, you manage to move not with you know, without much of an issue. There usually are a lot more like you you're used to travelling through this area now, but there don't seem to be any attacks, which is weird. You don't seem to have any trouble whatsoever. You manage to make it through, and I'd say you make it through to the crossroads of P without a problem. Could everyone roll me a perception, please? Oh, yay! We got far. Yeah, you got pretty Let's far. See how my roll's gonna do tonight? I'm gonna say that you kind of skirted Ooh. around. Ooh, we're all the things. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Go Lenara! Oh, god oh, damn it! Damn. <laughs> Sorry! No, that's good, because that means later when everyone's already wasted their like high rolls, you'll, you'll hopefully roll better. Um, no, okay, yeah, no, that's that's actually... That's in theory. That's, I mean, that's how the theory it works out like that. No, it doesn't usually, but who knows, we may, we, we may get positivity. Let's, let's, you know, let's try and I keep like positive. To... I like to think it's because Amara is like looking around and keeps covering my eyes as she's looking around, and I'm like, I can't see. <laughs> yeah, Amara's just got her hands over your eyes. You're like proper, proper piggyback yeah. ride. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah. Okie dokie. Um, when you get here, you get to you know you get to a crossroads. There are signs up pointing the way to Kresk, pointing the way to Selenka Pass, pointing to Velaki, pointing to Ravenloft, and to Berez. You know the area, you know the area here. You know where you're going. You start heading south, and there doesn't seem to be any real issues. There are you can hear you know the faint howling of wolves in the distance, the normal kind of noises of the forest, but nothing seems to come very close to you apart from you get the faint squawking of ravens overhead. Ah, tar ravens. <laughs> Do they sound like they're calling out to us? Oh no, it's just more Turn like. Back. Uh... Turn back. <laughs> Except they're saying it in Raven. <laughs> oh. oh dear. Yeah, I mean, it's it's. You're carrying a polymorphed Strad, you fools. <laughs> this was his plan all along. It's a mimic. <laughs> <laughs> a mimic dragon skull. Mimic dragon skull. Or I would not put it past you. A mimic either. skull that's I actually. Would not put I mean, it past you. They told you Shard was in his coffin. They didn't tell you that his coffin was the dragon skull. <laughs> oh god. 
just he falls out of an eye socket. <laughs> <laughs> um. So yeah, no, you're absolutely fine. You tend you travel on pretty well. You kind of get a bit suspicious at times. It's it's strange to you. And Theron, really oddly, you heard a scream a few days ago, like the night before you went to sleep. You don't. She hasn't seemed to have fallen. To followed you. Yeah, it's, it's weird. Genuinely, right. It's very strange. Hmm. So yeah, you manage to travel. You, you have no real issues with it. You travel down, um, rather than going through the forest the way you went before, where you went further west and then all the way south, you head, start heading south towards the ruined village of Berez, where you managed to defeat Baba Yaga and head west towards the mansion there. No real problems, once again. You seem to be travelling relatively quickly. Not much of a problem. It has taken several hours, though. We're now talking about it coming up towards night time as you approach the mansion of Argenbust Holt. Oh my god, there's so many places. Give me a sec. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna wish you guys over there. Stop in Velaki for a second. <laughs> Yay, Velaki! And then away from Velaki. Not away from Velaki. It's been so long. Velaki, away from Velaki. <laughs> where you'll get a black square. But if you zoom out, you'll find where you are. If you zoom out a bit and scroll down a little bit. Um, oh shit, this place is bigger than I oh remember. My God. Oh really? <laughs> I remember this place. Let's see if you're showing up there. We were, yeah, oh, there we, are. we were We were trying to sneak in and I think me and Lanara are all natural ones. So we were what? just screaming at each other. <laughs> oh yeah, this is where we had to dance to open the door as well, and somebody set off a trap by being a bitch. No, that was another place. <laughs> this place was the Danton door. Yeah, this isn't the dance door. No. Aww. You don't have Is to. Is this not the me. place with the statues either? No. No. That was the. Um... Oh gosh, what was that? That was the tower. The that tower. was Benrickton's tower. Yeah. Damn. Right. So yeah. now we have to go and find Vlad. And That's... make him see reason. Vlad. That, Vladimir Warnguard. Well remembered. Classic move. Oh. I have to send Nicholas. <laughs> to combat strat. He went to Santa, he's Santa's friend. It was I've no, got Order you... of the Silver Dragon Vladimir Horngard. Go to Argenvast Holt, make Vlad see reason. Yes, Ray, that's exactly right. I didn't say that was wrong. Oh, sorry, you sounded really questioning my bad. No, I said well remembered, Vlad. actually. I was really I impressed. Be like, who's Vlad? <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, Vlad's the guy we've come to see, right? <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Didn't we find him when we last came over? No, you found you found an injured ma an injured man. Well, I thought we found a ghost man in Q6. Yes. Wasn't the same guy. I think that was a ghost dragon head, wasn't it? <laughs> Would anyone like to roll me an intelligence check to see what they can remember? Well, considering I have keen mind, no, I'd like you to just tell me. Well, you weren't there, remember? Because <laughs> you had stormed off into the forest. Yeah, but you I came in at the go. very end. You didn't actually go into the mansion at all. Yeah, I came in at the very end. I did go in. Okay, well, yeah, but you, you came in and then you guys basically left again straight after. But I did speak to them briefly. Yeah. What am I rolling again? Intelligence. But, yeah, okay. It's it's cool. If that's, if that's what you've got, a one. you've got in your notes, then I'm probably wrong. So oh, I will help. roll in intelligence. Oh, I That's tried. I have to say, I love that Saren's intelligence is actually a minus. Yeah. <laughs> it's so suitable. Okay. Pretty much everyone but Theron, you can remember a fair amount of this. Obviously, Amara, you're, what you're remembering is more of a second hand, what they've told you. So you're not even 100% sure it's correct. But you guys remember the, um, the living fire? There was one point when you went into a room, there was flames that turned into dragons, like flew around the room a little bit, and then kind of started talking to you. Uh, Is that ringing yes, a bell? I remember that. Yeah. Is it really, or are you just making that up? No, I do, I remember. Because <laughs> I was trying to be sneaky, and then the room was on fire. <laughs> you also remember that the room to the south, 
of the main room you walked in, the main um, foyer you walked into, was full of spider webs. Um, and spiders. And there were some spiders, big spiders. Which is ironic because Id's not here today, and Id's been asking for giant spiders for weeks now. <laughs> somebody, somebody, message him if we have him, and just just be like, "Oi!" I told him. Out, mate. I was like, "Hey, Id, there are some coming up." Um, Spoilers. <laughs> and you also found a young dusk elf named Savid, who was injured. Ah. You helped him. You healed him. He gave you a bunch of information about what was happening in here, and left. That's actually pretty much what happened here. Although you did also the statue at Q1, which is what you're looking at as you kind of approach the place, was a statue of a dragon, and the dragon was magical. And you knew it used to be a magical trap, but it wasn't anymore. Yeah. Well, with my one of remembering. <laughs> wow. Wants to do the dance this time. Uh, um, I don't believe that's this door. Wrong place, sweetie. <laughs> but if you want to dance, by all means. Yeah. Just don't break the dragon skull, that you okay? <laughs> no, I'm good. Let's just try to avoid those weird statues. Uh, I think he's got the wrong place. I'm sticking with it. Let's roll, guys. <laughs> To the door. They'll just give him a benefit of a doubt. Come on. <laughs> uh, can I roll a perception? Because lots, lots, blah, 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 blah. last time, lots of magic hoo happened. Absolutely. Oh, and you, you may Yay. need to adjust your HP levels because you were a lower level last time you were here. And these oh, are your same tokens. I was a lower level. Look how squishy I was. Character? <laughs> oh, your character is on the far oh, left. I, yeah. I found me. Don't worry. <laughs> You're all so tiny. Little adventurous. <laughs> but yeah, that's... Yeah, you... Okay. I mean, that's a pretty average score. You don't really see anything of note as you approach. Seems fine. Seems pretty chill. Cool. I will uh, carry on, I guess. <laughs> I need to change some. I change to house. Get up to the door and listen before we go in. Mm. It's a mimic. <laughs> you don't even need to listen. The doors are lying what? open. You guys did not close them last time. Oh. <laughs> oh, whoops. Ah, oh, we probably fucked up. <laughs> but listening is fine. Damn. I mean, you you can just listen around. And you can't seem to hear anything. I mean, you hear faint movement, but you're not sure what it is or where it's from. Okay. I go in. There is an explosion. No, nope, yeah, you're fine. I mean, <laughs> I will do a little bit of description still to remind you guys what you're looking at. This is huge. Impressive. There's a massive staircase leading up to a balcony, which then leads up to the east and, well, the north and south, heading up to higher levels. Um, um, there is a lot of fancy stuff still in here. This is clearly once a magnificent manor house. Things like tapestries are hanging. There are, you know, around that are faded. There's uh, there's um, broken down sets of silver armor lying around. There's a there's a few um, busts of very handsome looking men around the room. Um, it's you know, and there are two chandeliers of wrought iron hanging from the ceiling. I better join you. <laughs> uh, I look around for any signs of life or movement and yes. or who are Lenara are you staying outside or are you going to enter with everybody else uh, well, oh. I'm, oh there I am can, can I be sneaky oh yeah you can run just, me stealth if you want to I just want to redeem myself from last time I was in here screaming <laughs> why is it always 12 tonight I don't know. I've rolled just twelves. <laughs> but yeah. Oh no, um, I rolled a sixteen. But it's mainly been twelves. <laughs> so Ray comes in trying to be pretty sneaky. She's not brilliant at it, but you know, she's not making obvious noise. Um Ray, as, as Amara looks around, 
You don't see anything at first that stands out to you, but as soon as Lunara steps in, the doors close, and you see a shadow pass over the room. The shadow that passes over the room is a very obvious shadow of a dragon. Wings flapping, oh, okay. flying overhead. Well, did anybody else see that? I miss her. How about that? Did anybody hear that? Hear what? Yeah, you all heard it. The, the giant roar, Theron. Considering the size of your ears, I'd have thought you'd have heard it better. It was pretty Honestly, audible. Honestly, don't know what you're talking about. There's a there's a dragon in here. At least this is this a very would. small room for a dragon. <laughs> Maybe it's a very small dragon, or a ghost oh. dragon. Oh, guys, no, you Maybe all saw like you all saw and heard it. Amara was the first to notice it, but as soon as she points it out, you would have seen it fly through the room. Maybe we should find where the skull. Oh, sorry. Yes. <laughs> Maybe we should find where the skull belongs. Yes, that's probably wise. And probably find out where Vlad is. And if Vlad's anything like his friend was. Um. Hmm. May I please roll an intelligence check to try and figure out where these things most likely will be kept? Sure. That's a good thing to kind of think about. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently I'm not very good at finding dead Before things. I tell you what you know, oh. what things in particular are you thinking about? I'm thinking about... Okay, so... If Vlad's mate was dead, <laughs> like dead, dead, yeah. then the chances are that Vlad is also dead. Yeah. And if this dragon, if this is the dragon's skull, I'm going to assume the dragon is dead. <laughs> yeah, Vlad so, is dead today. <laughs> if I had a dead soldier and a dead dragon in this large house, where would I put them? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's a if fair... If I were a dead dragon, where would I be? It's... it's always in the basement, isn't it? <laughs> I mean... <laughs> okay, what you're getting from this, from the, from how you saw the house from the outside... Ah, why is my map messing up? No, why is my mouse broken? Why does this mouse keep doing this? Sorry, guys, give me a second. I'm just going to have to refresh roll 20. <clears throat> Very recently, for some reason, the the central mouse button, the scrolly thing, seems to not like scrolling and gets stuck in an infinite scroll loop, which is always worrying. Yeah, I'm gonna fix that. Map player. Okay, let's try this again. Can everyone hear me? Okay. Yep. Brilliant. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, this from the out from the outside, you could tell that this um manor house is almost as tall as it is wide. You get the feeling that with kind of how fancy this place is, with how L Vladimir Horngod was the commander of the Silver Dragon Order, you think it'll be up rather than down. There doesn't seem to be a basement to this place, which is, you know, strange considering everything that you've dealt with so far. Okay. <clears throat> Well, this is quite a large place, considering Vladimir was the head of the Order, and the Order is called Order of the Silver Dragon, I'm probably going to suggest we look in some sort of... I don't think they'd put them in a dingy basement, so I'd suggest up? Maybe maybe even a large room? A ceremonial room? I, I don't know. I'm just trying to, I don't know, think of ideas. I'd have thought that if they had a large dragon skeleton, they'd probably display it proudly, not bury it in the dungeon. that That's my main thought. And your oh, thought, con what they say. Your thought continues. Mm -hmm. While you get the idea that the fancier things in this place would have been held further up, you also get the idea that dragons are big. Yes. While... The people of this place may have been upstairs. They could potentially keep the dragon's body down here. 
on the ground floor. Because dragons are heavy. Essentially, you get Maybe the feeling that I'm thinking. you get the feeling that humans and knights would be upstairs. Dragons may not get that far. Mm. Oh. But saying that, I'm going to say that dragon bones are quite heavy because, given the size of this head, it's probably a very large dragon. So perhaps we should search the ground floor for the dragon and any lower floors if we find them. But Yes. Oh. Sounds like yeah. a plan. Okay, so where do we Sounds start? Like... Well, I don't want to go into the spider room, so... Those doors seem to be open. Rather inviting, actually. <laughs> I hope we can fit the dragon skull for these doors. <laughs> Let's go find out. <laughs> <laughs> we will walk through the doors. I shall follow Theron. Beans, for follow the Ray. <laughs> oh, where's Theron gone? Oh, there he is. <laughs> we he lost him to the darkness. Yes. <laughs> My natural element. <laughs> I was born in the darkness. <laughs> You've gone it. too far. Now you're in the dark and everyone's dead. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no! Okay, so the party moves east and through the door, which is underneath the upstairs balcony. As you move through, <clears throat> you move through into a, the dining hall. There's a 20-foot long table with sculpted dragons for legs standing in the center of this room. The chairs that surround the table have backs also carved to resemble folded dragon wings. Several of the chairs have been overturned, smashed to pieces, etc. Suspended above the table is a crystal chandelier that still glows now with a soft white light. Standing in window alcoves are two lifelike statues depicting knights with dragon winged helms and shields. You can see those on the map, they're in the corners of the room. Rainwater trickles here through cracks in the ceiling, flowing down the west wall and adding to a large puddle on the floor. Five sets of wooden doors lead to this hall. The doors in the northeast, which you've just walked, sorry, the doors in the northwest, <laughs> which you've just walked through, had been lying open, even when you pushed the one that was still remained slightly ajar. There are a pair of leaded, leaded glass doors, their panes cracked and broken, which are opposite you, leading into another room. And there are several. There are doors to the south and north. The broken stained glass on the opposite side of the room seems to have some kind of some kind of dragon symbology on it, but you can't see it very well from upon entrance to the room. Hmm. To be honest, I'm just glad there's no wedding cake. <laughs> keep your hands uh, in the pocket, yeah. Theron. Yeah. You're not the only one. Bad Theron, hands in the pocket. <laughs> <laughs> You, uh, you don't think this is how they display the skeleton, right? Making furniture out of it? I um, don't think so. I think they'd have had a bit more respect for the dragon than that. Hmm. Strahd's kind of thing. Yeah. I want to look at the glass. Uh. Okay. Can I roll the perception to see if there's anything in the room that jumps out at me? Or is that <laughs> <kind of> <laughs> no, absolutely. Go ahead. Um, uh, I need to be right back. Thank okay. You. <laughs> um, yeah, the roll you just did. Um, you find it very weird that the chandelier is lit. This place is clearly abandoned. No one has been here for quite some time, and the chandelier is still glowing. That's a bit strange. Does anyone else notice anything a little odd about the chandelier? It's it's pretty. Yeah. It's glowing. Found you. Why is it glowing? I don't know, Ray. Why is it glowing? <laughs> well, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> God, I'm just a monk. No. 
scientist wizard who do do do. Hmm. Can I roll? Tell me if there's something magical about the chandelier. Uh, Arcana. Uh, is it? Arcana. Is it? Is it uh, glow like sunlight or not? It does not seem to be glowing as bright as sunlight, and I will say, Lenara, you can tell, uh -huh. you can you can recognise this. I know it's quite a low roll, but it's a quite a simple spell. This is a spell called Continual Light. No one seems to have turned it off, essentially. So uh, it's a spell that you oh. activate, and it can be made permanent. <laughs> so it's a permanent light spell that seems to be affixed to this chandelier, which seems to just glow forever. And I'll say, Theron, as you go over and look at the glass, the glass doors, although slightly broken, they seem to depict on each side um, uh, symmetrical dragons in flight, both silver, flying through what appears to be the skies of Barovia. And beyond them you can see into the next room if you would like a slight description, Theron. Okay. They're not, I mean they're cracked, they're broken and they're slightly open. <laughs> and what you see here is what appears to be a uh, misty, almost foggy chapel. There is some slight movement, but you can't see inside it very well. Because you obviously haven't actually gone in yet. <laughs> Ray. This may be your kind of place. It looks like a monkey area. <laughs> A, mon <laughs> a monkey area. Um, <laughs> it's a monkey area. <laughs> Ray will go over and have a look and maybe roll a perception. Sure. Uh, what's my perception? It's plus four, isn't it? It is. I keep forgetting. Boom. Oh, damn it. <laughs> damn it, I was muted. That's fine. Anyone who wants to, anyone who wants to have a quick look into the room, I'll give you a full description if you want. It's not, I mean, it's not like difficult to see in or anything. Sat there and I went. Sorry, can I repeat Amara's reaction to that? Because I was muted through all of it. I mean, oh, yes. It was monkeys. I didn't even know they were indigenous to this area. <laughs> No, which probably right. she's going to run over and see if she can see any primates. Aaron will just roll his eyes. Uh, Ray will raise an eyebrow. Raise, raise an eyebrow. Raise. Oh, God, damn it. <laughs> right, that's I'm it. Here all I night. quit. I quit. Sean's <laughs> <laughs> about to quit. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly the chapel's full of undead. God damn Rocks it. Fall. Everyone dies. No. Theron, are you reading my notes? Because. <laughs> no! Okay, I'll tell you what you see. Oh, the song stopped. Let's fix that. I like having no music. I like the house on the hill when it's spooky. There we go. And loop. Okay, um, as you all kind of approach the broken doors, you can see through a lot better. Inside this room, it seems to be some kind of chapel. There are cracked wooden pillars supporting a wooden U-shaped balcony that hangs above you. You can see slightly into the... the, the um, room above, but it's very difficult to see from down here. There are narrow archways on the north and south wall of the room that lead up into um, spiral staircases going upstairs. Um, at the east end of the chapel, there is an altar, a stone altar, with iron candelabras, large ones on either side. The altar is carved with a rising sun relief. Tall arcing windows are set with panels of stained glass decorate the walls behind it. One of the windows has been shafted, covering the floor with shards of broken glass, and this is what has allowed the thick fog to enter the room. The room is quite spooky, and there is a lot of fog rolling around it. In the fog, you can very faintly see the outlines of three shapes kneeling before the altar. Oh. Obviously, Theron and Lenara, you're still carrying the skull as far as I know. Yep. I thought Theron was carrying the skull. Nope, you're being dragged along with me. Oh, I mean, Theron okay. could probably carry it. Theron could carry it by himself, yeah. Yes. Can 
Uh, I was gonna say, can I roll to see um, if I can tell what the three outlines are? I mean, but after my rolls tonight, I don't think even like I'm gonna be able to tell. Oh, oh come on, Amara! Hey, <laughs> Just show me up with your. Over 20 rolls. Uh, just, just, <laughs> I, I don't know what it is. Roll 20 just loves me. At this moment three time, figures that seem to be kneeling in front of the altar are mm -hmm. all very, um, very clearly dead creatures. Uh, undead creatures or dead, oh, yes. dead creatures? Undead creatures. They are slightly shuffling around and moving. But they are now, they're not, although these ones on the map are facing you, they're not. They're facing the altar and they are praying to what appears to be a rising sun. Oh my god, it's re um, Quick, play the sun song. <laughs> that appears to be three undead creatures. Appear to be praying in front of an altar with a sun symbol on it. Perhaps that's where we put the skull to turn the sun back on? I don't think we need to bother them. Just yet. Could they be rather than? Perhaps yeah, they be... could be friendly rather than angry. Potentially, but they could also think we, we're stealing it or something. I don't know. I think perhaps we should put the skull should... back first and not risk breaking it and or losing it to anything. Okay, sounds good. Do you want to try a door to the north first, then? Good idea. Yes, why not? Okay, so you're going for the north instead. I don't mind helping carry in it. Yes, we are Bone going to the north. north. Okay, they don't seem to have noticed you, so you move away without much problem. Cool. I wish to check out this door and roll the natural one. You have no <laughs> Is idea. Is this door trapped? Oh my god! Your perception is amazing. Thanks. Hashtag bards. <laughs> okay. I'd laugh if you roll a natural one and still perceive something. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, so you basically kind of back out away from the chapel, the chapel of the morning, which is the dawn chapel, um, and start heading north. Um, you try and listen through the door. You don't seem to hear anything seems to be relatively quiet. Okay, perfect. I tell everybody it seems to be relatively quiet. <laughs> and I open the door. Sure of your some of the outside here too. In fact, I'll go all the outside here because there's also windows. So I'll give you a faint description of what you can see out here too, without revealing too much of what's over here. Okay, and I will move this map slightly so people at home can see what's going on. Okay. Oh nope, still revealing. Um, <clears throat> this appears to be the kitchen. <laughs> This place has been plundered. You can sell even as soon as you open the door. The tables are all overturned. The floor is littered with rusted utensils, smashed crockery. There are narrow windows flanking a hearth that look out over a cemetery, within which seems to be some kind of large mausoleum in the top right, well, top right, northeast corner. <laughs> there is an open iron pot hanging above a fireplace that has not been lit for quite some time. It is rattling slightly on its hook and bobbing up and down as though there is something inside it. Hmm. Can I see what's inside it? Oh, please do. <laughs> oh. Ah! Whoa! I see all of the things through space and time! <laughs> <laughs> you do indeed. You go over to perceive what is inside it and as you do, the thing flies out and is straight at your face and is a common house bat. It flaps around the room. That's the bed. It flaps around the, the ceiling of the room after flying straight at Amara's face. I let out a small scream. And then I look really, really annoyed slash embarrassed. Ah! Oh, it's a 
back. Really? I thought they were your friends now. But why would a bat be my friend? I <laughs> look at his ears. Kind of thought you became friends with all vermin. Only some, sadly. <laughs> I'd say you're more their kin. As she's saying that, there are literally cockroaches crawling around her feet. I'm not particularly <laughs> fond of this entire arrangement. This is kind of gross. <laughs> that that does give me an idea. Back away, not today. Excuse me, <laughs> do, do you understand me? She says at the cockroaches. They make no noise. Have you lost your mind? GM, I cannot hear you if you're speaking. They don't seem to respond to you. Well, it was worth a shot. If they understood me as well, then I might be able to get them to go figure out where we're supposed to put this skull. Do you remember when they thought the were ravens? It's because they didn't speak to you. Not all animals can speak. <laughs> it's true. Maybe ask them to walk forward in a straight line. But... Amara, you can speak to animals, can't you? I can comprehend other languages, yes, but only if it actually has a language. I'm not sure cockroaches have a language. But uh, if you do understand me, I guess please form a line. was exciting, wasn't it? I'm still covered in cockroaches and they're completely useless. Ahem. As you say that, they don't form a line. However, can you guys hear me? Yeah. Okay. Yep. They don't seem to form a line. However, that being said, they do seem to form a small cluster in front of you. Well, maybe they're not very good at flying. But yeah, see, they're just dumb. They're wrong, trying to do things. Wrong, 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 um, wrong, wrong, wrong. Well done. <laughs> yes, very good. I think cockroaches uh, are food and words. I feel like I've been drinking, but I know I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I, I guess I can find something. I look in my bag and I pick up some of the meal rations I have. And I put them on the ground for the cockroaches. This is Not the, best the food! <laughs> Ray little... looks almost saddened. <laughs> they eat them happily. Uh, mm. Can you find where this skull lives? Like where it should be? Find the rest of the body? While she says that, I'm just going to point out in that direction say I think they might bury a dragon in that kind of area and what, what gives you that impression she says looking out of the out of the window well they bury all of their dead out there and they have a big big mausoleum for you know high ranking things I guess is, silver is that dragon that probably is? count that is most assuredly a mausoleum I know my mausoleums it's also uh, a, a mausoleum that I described. I may have, been, may have been preoccupied with my cockroaches. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this is absolutely a mausoleum, yes. Well, it fact, looks I can tell like you, the only way. Now that you're looking at it, I'll happily tell you what it looks like. There are tarnished silver-plated gargoyles shaped like dragon wormlings clinging to the yep. stone-tiled <laughs> roof of this mausoleum. <laughs> There is an eight foot tall, four foot wide, white marble door set into the southwest wall of the mausoleum. There is something written on it, but from here it's too difficult to read. How much do you guys want to bet those whirlings are real and are going to attack us? They are so. Oh, yeah. Also, look over there. You see that staircase? I've got uh -huh. a feeling that leads to the room with those things in. Undead? So one way or another. If that's what you want to call them. Great. Just... Just great. 
But the question is, how do we get out of here? Isn't this a door? No, that's a fireplace. I... Ah. Shit. Because I don't <laughs> see any other door other than the one that's attached to the room you suspect is probably the undead room. But I'm not seeing any other door that leads into this, this place from where we are. And it seems to be fenced off. I mean, how I is that fence out there? Yeah, how, yeah, I was about to ask the same thing. <laughs> there is a way we could get around it. Mara, you know... Uh, spells in common. I guess That's I could. Want to word it. That wouldn't be too impossible. I'd rather be using it as a potential escape route should we need it, though. Well, if... Essentially, there, there has to... And I don't mean by the same means. So if you and someone else want to find another way down there... Hmm. Comes with me, it does involve walking past those and dead. Who's taking the skull? I mean, I've still got the skull. You'll need someone strong, like Theron. Yeah, Theron's currently carrying the skull. All past the undead's a bit risky. Alright, well, how about you and Ray that way, and I'll take Theron with me. Can you take both Theron and the skull? If Theron has the skull? Yeah. I, I don't know if I could carry the skull. Give me a second, because I can't remember how much it is. I'm just looking it up. I'm assuming you're dimension dooring. That's what you're talking about. I'm not. No, that's what I mean. I mean, I'm assuming that you're talking about Amara dimension dooring. Uh, potentially, unless there's another way down. Mm-hmm. You can bring objects as long as their weight doesn't exceed what you can carry. Theron is currently carrying it. Who is carrying gear up to its carrying capacity. Yeah, so Theron, as long as Theron can carry it fine, he can absolutely be teleported with, with you, Amara. Um, but the main question I was asking, Lenara, how are you going to get into the room with the undead things? I didn't think that gap was small enough. What are you talking about? big enough, even. What? To fit it. What do you mean? Which gap? There were two... There's... No, those doors were wide open. You guys just didn't want to go in. Oh, I didn't yeah, realize they were doors. They look really small on the map, so I thought it was just a titchy gap we were all just staring in. No, no, I mean, yeah, it is. But, they. Were, I mean, it's because you guys didn't open the doors. You opened it a little bit to look in. That was about it. Hmm. You guys just went all scared of the undead and backed out. You could happily walk in there. Well, potentially it might be wise then wrong, to wrong, all attempts wrong, to get past the undead. Wrong, wrong, I mean, wrong, wrong. like Theron said, they might be friendly. Like the last one was that told us how to get here. Not to mention, we don't want just two of us on the other side of this wall if those wormlings really are alive. Okay, we'll walk through I mean, the room. it's not going to be the first inanimate-looking object that's tried to kill us. Sorry, what are you saying, <laughs> Lenara? Lenara is just going to say, okay, let's go through the room. And All right. then something along the lines of, if they do attack us, well, you know, corpses are very flammable. Okay, so we head to the door. It's always fire with you. <laughs> <laughs> Kind of a one-trick pony. <laughs> Not the one I killed them. <laughs> wow. Okay. I feel like at this point, Ray should start like developing a twitch whenever Lanara talks about fire, because she's been set on fire so many times. <laughs> oh, she has, hasn't I she? I blinded you as well. Yeah. Why is Ray friends with you? <laughs> Why are any of us friends with any of us? Okay. <laughs> the thing about Lenara though, her background is the haunted one. So unless she, like, to um, commoners, that she 
is like threat then they will go out of their way to help her <laughs> as part of that background Oh, which I just find hilarious <laughs> yeah. I'm just like damn that girl's seen some shit <laughs> well yeah um, <laughs> who's going in first well I okay. think I'll want to be at the back with the skull unless somebody else wants to carry it Oh, well, um, after you, Lenara. <sighs> You're an absolute wimp, you know that. Oh, yes, because it's every day you face three undead. <laughs> Being in Barovia, how long and how many of those days have we encountered something that's Don't not so out, 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 you. No, go, go. She says. <laughs> Step through the door. <laughs> she follows like, um, very closely behind. <laughs> Why are you saying hello? Because I thought we were sneaking through. <laughs> Face Hi. in the like at the scene. Well, <laughs> okay. <laughs> they were really quiet try. and they weren't really looking at you until someone said hello and they all like their heads okay. turn well, 180 degrees to look at you. Are what they resonant, are or are they oh just zombies? God. They stand up and turn. Remember, this room is full of fog. It's too difficult to see if they're revenants yet. Uh. Their heads turn 180 degrees. The bodies slowly <laughs> stand upright, and then the bodies turn around to match the heads. Oh, oh that's so creepy. Oh. They all take one step forward in unison, and at that point, you can see they are indeed revenants. Are you of the Order of the Silver Dragon? Um, hi. <laughs> Please, could everybody roll me initiative? Oh. Oh, uh, it's here. Id, you missed the room full of giant spiders. spiders. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yes. But you've, you've made it to the room of fog and death. Made it to the room of yeah. fog and death. Yeah, the fog and death room. So, oh, wow. Whoa. I rolled a okay. one. So, Theron. I rolled a one, too. Oh. <laughs> I got a rock. Um, How did Theron? I roll better than you? <laughs> Nara. I don't know. And then... I only have a plus three. <laughs> how, how is my initiative better than all of yours? How is your initiative only a plus three, Ray? Is it not? I mean, oh no, it's just dex based. Yeah, no, ignore me. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I am pretty dexy. So dexy. So dexy. Okay. Um, and then I guess I'll roll for the revenants. See if they get to go before you guys. Ah, I haven't rolled anything tonight. Oh my god. Of course they get a natural 20. Uh... Revenant 1. <laughs> Revenant 2. Revenant 3. Why did you have to say hello? <laughs> I'll miss you guys. Why did you have to well, say because hello? Because I tried to make friends, okay? Oh, <laughs> you guys. <laughs> I need a second option. <laughs> True dope. Okay. <laughs> Revenant one reacts first. Um, is this how you guys are standing with exactly as you are on the yes. map? Awesome. Right. More or less. <laughs> My dad. Zoom in a little tiny bit. Yes. So can see this uh... <sighs> okay. Cool. So, Revenant one is the first to move, and he moves to attack. Pretty, well, pretty obvious. Wrong, 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 <laughs> wrong, um, he's going wrong, straight for Lenara, because she is currently the only one in the room. So he moves up to here, and tries to attack you. Let me attack. <laughs> one of his attacks is called Fist. Um, <clears throat> 
It makes a horrible <laughs> screech. Like, all three of them make a horrible screech and rush at you. You're aware that revenants have oaths of vengeance. There is something that means that they want to kill. They will always get bonuses against things they have sworn vengeance against. Luckily, it's unlikely that you're one of these things. <laughs> what? I mean, <laughs> what did I do to I did wonder where this was going. I said, luckily, you're not one of those things. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> so it will attack once and twice. God damn. Both hit. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'll roll both the damages together. So that's 23 total damage. Ouch. Do I get any attacks of opportunity because she's being attacked in front of me or not? No, that's not the way it works, I'm afraid. I thought I'd ask, just in case. No, I mean, when it comes to your turn, I will say you are. she is enough in front of the door that you could squeeze into the room past her if that helps. But um, as for now, you can't really do a gr I mean, you could hit him from here, but not an attack of opportunity. But yes, it is Theron's go. Theron, who is currently holding a giant dragon skull. Yay. Yeah, that ain't gonna be helpful. Yeah. Maybe you should put the dragon skull on the table. But what if somebody smashes it with a ballista or something? Because those are commonplace. <laughs> Dude. Dude. <laughs> you wrong, asshole. Wrong, Shut up. <laughs> wrong, 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 anyway, okay. Wrong, wrong. <laughs> anyway. What are you doing, Theron? Yeah, I'd like to put this skull down on the table. Okay, Theron puts the skull down. You now have either a movement or an attack. You cannot do both. That's fair. Reach that fucker, he's through a wall. And I can't move through all these fuckers. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I will use my bonus action to go into a rage, and that's my turn. The little lines here. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's just uh, show where the balcony is upstairs. No, no, no. No, it's far. Okay. No, there's like a U-shaped balcony that the pillars are holding up. So um, as you walk in, it's like you can see the six pillars and then you've got kind of this bit you're standing in has a roof over you. But that's just the floor above. Um, Eleonora, it is your go now. Okay. Um, is this a staircase? Yes. You didn't start the fire. Uh, it was always burning since the world's been turning. In that case, I would like to do two things. I would first of all would like to look at the revenant and just say, "Fuck you, agent of Strad." And then I would like to cast invisibility on myself. <laughs> <laughs> you're absolutely welcome to do this or you will notice that when you say the name Strahd all of them hiss really loudly and you turn invisible I won't even give him an attack of opportunity on you oh, uh, <laughs> Amara's just really left in the doorway <laughs> kind of like <laughs> you should say hello um I move when I'm invisible. Does he get an attack of opportunity? No, he won't be able to see you. Normally if you cast okay, magic that close to him, he would, but I, I've said you can go without. <laughs> Thank you. In that case, I would like to run into the cell and just, like, hide. <laughs> well. You can absolutely do this. He, um, the, the one in front of you kind of looks in your uh, direction kind of slightly, but doesn't see you well to attack. <laughs> okay. In that case, it's Revenant 2 and 3. They do oh, not see Lenora, so this one is going to move straight through and attack. Amara! One, two. Do they hit? Both of those. Yeah, I'm, I'm a squishy mofo. 
Oh, it's squishy. Okay. So they both hit you. For a full total of 21, pier uh, 21 slashing damage. Ouch. Youch. Okay. Do I get a, an opportunity to speak? Yeah. Speaking is a free action. I wish to say... <clears throat> We've been sent here to see Vlad! Okay. That's it. <laughs> they don't seem to I'm react. I'm assuming I probably won't have much time in between being hit. Hmm, that's fair. It's your turn though, Amara. I don't think any of these are Vlad. Well, that's disheartening. <laughs> um, I'd like to yell, We want to return the skull! And if that does nothing, I have another plan. <laughs> they don't seem to react to it. Then I turn undead. Nice. That Yay. is absolutely a fair thing to do. And he is just within the, the upper limits of that. Okay. Uh, will save? believe so. I can't honestly say off the top of my head. Turn undead. Wrong, 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 wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. And they wrong, have disadvantage to it. I know that much. I believe it's a... Yeah, it's a wisdom saving throw. Okay. Yeah. So wisdom they have wisdom saving. saving throw, but they have a disadvantage to it because you are using it with the holy symbol of Ravenkind, which is a mystical artifact. Uh, what is their wisdom saving? Saving throws, whiz. Okay, plus six. Okay, Revenant one, Revenant two, Revenant three. Oh, for heaven's sake. I don't know what the um, DC is. It should say it on the little card I gave you. Oh, I can look it up in the book though. I've got the DC for hold vampire, but not turn undead. It should be the same. Or close. I'll check anyway, I'll be in here. Holy symbol of living kind. Turn undead. Oh, it'll go off your. Your spell DC. Oh, my spell DC. Okay, then its DC is... Is it just the base DC or is it a spell level DC? Well, it's supposed to go off your turn undead because you're supposed to be a cleric. But, um, it is, I'll <laughs> go with your normal spell DC for your, like, charm effects and stuff. So what, the cantrips? Do it as if you were casting hold person. As if I were casting what? Hold person. Hold person. Hold person. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If I were going to cast hold person, that is a second level spell, so the DC is 20. Cool. Oh my god. They all fail. God damn. 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 Oh, I apologize. None of them fail. Why? As you cast it, you use your turn undead ability for a moment there's a flash of light as there normally is and they seem to react to that and then slowly turn back towards you it seems that revenants are, are too powerful undead to be affected by it oh well that's a load of pants and with that knowledge I'll give you um, yeah I'll give you this I wish I'd have known that, otherwise I wouldn't have wasted my time. Well, yeah, but you wouldn't have known that until you did it. Yeah, yeah I know. I'm just saying I wish I would have. But you know now. Oh, dear. Okay, well. Since that didn't work, and they don't care about the fact we're trying to replace the skull, and they don't seem to notice or care about Vladimir Horngard, I'm going to take a five foot step this way 
Cool. Okay. That is absolutely and fine. Uh, where is it? No, I'm fine. That's it. My turn's over. So I'm just explaining, I'm just doing rules in the chat. Someone has asked questions. Okay. <laughs> Basically, I'm telling them that five foot steps don't exist in fifth edition, but I homebrewed them into this because I like them. Um, but yeah, fifth for any, if, just in case you guys do play fifth edition with someone else in the future, five foot steps don't exist in in uh, thingy. So yeah. Um, so yeah, no, if you, no. but yeah, I like them, so I've included them. Anywho, race turn. Cool. Well, I think Ray is just gonna be like, "So you guys didn't or dip a dragon side skull? All right." <laughs> and then she's gonna walk up and just hit him with a stick. And things. Well, it's a spear now. Hit him with a spear and things. I'm gonna attack the one straight in front of me. I'm having concerns about fun. Lenara measuring the room. Lenara is measuring, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just, do, 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 do. Ray is triggered. Ray is triggered. <laughs> okay, uh, um, so yeah, you just go ahead and roll me. Some tax. Oh, yeah, I'm dead. I need to remember what my. The spear. This counts as a 2 plus spear, plus 1 on all attacks with the spear. Because I think I've still got my old stick <laughs> written down. Is it a plus eight or a plus nine? I can't remember. Sorry. I can't tell you, I'm afraid. I think it's a plus eight for my blood spear. Although, does the polished stone come into account to give me a plus one on ability checks or not? That's ability yeah, checks, that's not attacks. One for everything. It's not an attack. That's not attacks. Okay, it's ability okay. checks and saving throws. Okay. Um, uh, I'm just trying to think of what I want to do. Uh, um, I think I want one of these um, two spear strikes to be a stunning strike. Yep, go for it. I'm gonna try and stun the one in front of me. Um, so that's my first one. God damn it. <laughs> God damn. So, uh, that's my yeah. second one, but I, I don't think that now counts as a stunning strike. I think that's just my No, you use stunning strike on your first one, but the second one yeah. does hit. Cool, and then I'm gonna wrong, um, wrong, do a wrong, 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 punchy wrong. punch. Yep, you get um, one unarmed attack as well. Yes. Just need to do that as a seven. God damn, this rolls are terrible. Okay. I hit him once with my spear. Just yep. once. Roll me some damage. And that is a 15, and I don't. Ah. Uh, mm hmm. So, I, let me just double check. That's okay. Why? Right, what's up? What were you? What were you asking? Uh, no, I was just reading through my um blood stabs. My blood spear, and I was like, oh, I can get a two d six HP on top of my own, but I've not taken any damage yet. No, but it says on top of your own. It can go oh, above your own HP. It can be above my own. Does that count in this spear? If you kill it, though, right? Does it not say if you kill it? It does. I conveniently did not read that part. I'm that so is... excited by the other sentence. <laughs> that is absolutely <laughs> fine. Um, 
So yeah, it's Sorry. only if you kill it, but you do you do manage to hit it and you do manage to take 15 off its health. So yes, that is fine. I'm surprised I was able to hit it at all with my rolls tonight because they are terrible. That is absolutely fine. And th that's all I can really do. I'm just going to write down that I have used a trade point. Here we go. Uh, I don't... No, I don't think I can move back because then he'll have an attack of opportunity. You can move five So foot. if Aaron wants to hit him, he's just going to have to push me out of the way, I think. <laughs> Can I move back? No, I'm gonna stay here. I'm fine. I'll be a meat shield, it's cool. Famous last words. Before I die. At least okay. they have a good place to bury you right nearby. <laughs> yeah, that's true, right? Okay, so we're back <laughs> to the top of the round. Giant body anywhere. <laughs> top of the round gives us Revenant 1, which is the one up above you, Ray, who can hit you from there. And we'll hit yeah, you. That's cool. We'll try yeah, to hit you anyway. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Uh, oh, what's my, what's my, what's my, oh, god damn it. The second one hits. Okay, so he misses you with the first one, but cuts into you with a longsword for the second one. You take 12 slashing damage. Oh, that's not too bad. Well, that was going to be worse. Cool. Okie dokie. Uh, Theron, it's okay. I don't think I can do anything. If Ray had Just stepped push back... Just me! <laughs> no, he can't because he's directly in front of you. If you'd stepped back, he would have had somewhere to go, but he can't now. Yeah, I can move through a friendly creature, but not through a hostile creature, so I cannot move forward close enough to hit anything at all. Oh, goddamn, really? I, so you I will move. hold my action, and if anything evil comes near me, I will attack it, but otherwise, I can do fuck all. <laughs> I mean, Theron, you could oh, potentially sorry, take a step Theron, forward and hit diagonally. I thought you could. I thought you could like move here and hit from here. Apologies. Oh I'm no, that's joking. cool then. I didn't not... know if those doors were enough. That's cool. When they, I mean, as they are on the map, you wouldn't have been able to do it. But you guys have opened them since you came into the room, so they're wider open now. So yeah, fuck a while then. <laughs> um, I haven't lit up any of my blades, so it's just the first three damages. Okie dokie. Um, so it's well, for fuck yeah, they were okay. hit. 16, 10, that put, 16, so that's 42. That puts my 15 to shame. <laughs> so Theron it's walks forward. that actually kills one, because Jesus. <laughs> cuts into him with the sun sword. Cuts into him with his silver sword. Cuts into him with the sun sword again. And he's still standing. Wrong, Fuck! Wrong, okay. Damn. Wrong, that's like wrong, an amazing. Wrong, 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 wrong. <laughs> still standing. <laughs> <laughs> Lenara, I don't know. I think we need some. Uh huh. Your go. Also, I realise we're still on we're still on ambient music, and that's kind of boring. So let's try and step this up a bit. Let's get some battle music in here. Or some Elton John, you know, chat <laughs> Why is it doing that one over and over again? Don't do that one. Do a different one. Let's go with the Lundra. Expecting it to be. There we go. Also get all of the six pillars, yeah. <laughs> which are made of wood. I don't like how he's pointed that out. They are wooden pillars. Yeah. I did say that when you came in. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, I don't want to waste all my big spells in case there's something like bigger. These enemies are super strong and they hit real hard. Yeah. Uh, actually, how many level four spell slots do I have? <laughs> I have three. Okay, you know what? Fuck it, I'm gonna try one of my new spells. Okay. Um, I am going to actually. Oh, it's got a range of 60 foot. Um, I would like. Um, oh, to make me a charisma saving throw. <laughs> okay, what are you? What are you casting? <laughs> Sorry? I'm trying to banish him to another plane of existence. Oh my god. If he's from this plane, he'll be banished um, to a harmless demi plane. If he's from another plane, he'll be banished to that plane. Wrong, 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 wrong. Okay, so yeah, Chris. Fails on, um... That's it. Oh my god. It remains there until the spell ends, at which point the target reappears. Okay. Uh, no. Uh, hang on. Um. If the spell ends for four minutes, passed. otherwise the target doesn't return. If the spell oh. ends. Um, before a minute has passed. If I maintain concentration for the whole time, for the whole minute, when that minute is up, he'll be permanently banished. But if the spell is broken before then, then he will return. Okay, cool. Okie dokie. Uh, but yeah, he needs but to that's, succeed that's on only a if he's, saving throw. That's only if he's native to a different plane of existence. If the target is native to the plane of existence you're on, you banish it to a harmless demi-plane. If it's native to a different plane of existence, um, it's banished to its home plane. Yeah, and that, but it's only... Right, if the target is native to the plane of existence you're on, you oh. banish the target uh, while there it's yeah, incapacitated. Yeah, yeah. So if it, if it comes from Barovia, it will be teleported away and then come back at the end of the spell. If it's native to a different plane and you hold it, then it will stay there. Ah, uh, shit. See, I, I typed that up wrong when I was typing my um, That is my spell okay. Table. I will link you to... Uh, I'll, put it in, I'll put it in the chat. Yes. <laughs> That's okay, I've, I've got it in front of me here. Um, okay, seriously, yeah, the battle thing's just not playing. I'm assuming he's from Barovia. Uh, that's gonna make it not fun. Um... You know what? Instead... Oh, it would be super boring. Blight on him as a fire spell. <laughs> yes, you can. Your gauntlets allow you to cast Blight as a fire spell. Uh, yeah, what is it? Uh, with all of the benefits that come with that. Additional two points per Daryl, so. Oh, I think I actually. Oh, I did! I, I put a macro for Blight Fire. Um, sorry, it's been a while since I. That's okay. Uh, so he makes a constitution saving throw. Yes. And the damage roll is... 61. Damn. Wrong, 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 wrong. His constitution wrong, is a plus wrong, three. He rolled a 19. Wrong, wrong. Uh, hold, hold on, hold on. Hello? Uh, hello? Sorry, my thing cut off. Okay, sorry, I'm trying to figure this something out. Uh, where is it? Where is it? There we go. Um, uh, not worth it. Yeah, um, fail. Oh no, succeed. So, half damage. God damn it. Hello? 
Hello. Hi. <laughs> so, he takes half damage. Okay. He takes... Uh, okay, then he'll take a 30 damage. Which one was it you were casting on? The one nearest you? I literally pointed to him on my screen and I'm like, he can't see that. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yes, okay, cool. <laughs> but it also means that I'm no longer invisible. <laughs> yes, it does, because you are not casting greater invisibility, so... He turns to look at you as you cast this energy. Flames burst up around him. He is set on fire and he is not looking best pleased about it. <laughs> I don't know, would you be best pleased about being set on fire? No, no, I would not. <laughs> to him before my turn ends. Um, I want to say. If you're against us, you're with Strahd. Oh! what this dude's about. <laughs> <clears throat> when you say that, his wrong, eyes widen, wrong, and he looks wrong, very wrong, upset wrong, about that. Wrong. The other two seem to have... trying to bring Strahd down, and he's cramping our style. The other two seem to have heard it too, and they have they both turned to look at you. <laughs> made note of this. <laughs> Lenora just gets through life by antagonizing everyone she meets. <laughs> kind of like me. That is fair. <laughs> um, Revenant 2 and Revenant 3, it is their turn to attack. So, Ray, oh, fuck. <laughs> first one is going to attack you. Um, He's the one directly in front of you. That's understandable. Is there a nice gap him? One and two. Eleven and nineteen. Oh god damn it, the second one hits. Okay, he hits you for eleven slashing damage. Okay. Lenara. The one you just cast a flaming blight on. Oops. <laughs> turns towards you. He's not looking very badly damaged at all, despite the fact that he took a fireball or a blight ball to the face. But he um he takes a knee and doesn't seem to attack. He goes down on one knee and stops. Oh. I um, thought he was just like, my knee! It's not my knee, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he had a boo boo. <laughs> and he was just like, my knee! I just thought he meant he just takes one of Lenara's knees. Oh god. I hate this. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Huh. Amara. It is your go, Re. Oh, yay. Okay. I cast Beacon of Hope. And then as a bonus action, I cast... Bear with me, I'm not even sure this is a bonus action. Who is it? Mass healing word. Mm -hmm. Okie dokie. Please roll me. Oh, it's a, it's a maximized. So what is it? Everyone's getting back. Oh, um, it's eight plus. I believe it's eight. Yeah, eight plus four, which is twelve. Hmm. Wow. Okay, so everyone who has taken damage, you get up to twelve HP back. Thank you very much. Awesome. As you've cast <laughs> Beacon of Hope, you don't even need to roll for it. You just get maximized healing. Uh, thank you, Lavender Courage, yeah. for the host. I, Everyone that's watching, hi, I'm SJ. Clockwork SJ, we're Hello. running D&D &D tonight. Hi. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> for, those, for those, like, 13 people watching her channel, hi. Um, we are currently in the middle of a um, of our night tonight. Um, the players are currently in... A large manor house fighting three undead revenants who seem to be pretty powerful as they're taking hard hits and not really showing it much. Yeah. And it is Ray's go. Deadly. 
It is raise go. Oh. Um. I'm. I'm guessing I probably didn't hear what Lenara said. Lenara, I don't think Lenara said anything. Lenara didn't say anything. She did. Well, she did. Said, she's no. She said something to this guy, but I didn't know if Ray would have heard it. Or if Ray would just keep attacking. Oh, roll me a perception. Oh. I said if you're against us and you're with Strahd. <laughs> I did hear you, I just I don't know whether um Ray would have heard you if she was fighting. That's the thing. Oh whoa! Oh, no, I, I thought, oh, I oh okay, yeah, she heard. <laughs> <laughs> yep, you would have heard. Finally above a twelve. Um <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Well, I was going to attack, but since I have heard Lenara say, uh, what did you say exactly? Sorry, if, if you're, if you're, wrong, wrong, wrong. Uh -oh. you're against us, you're with Strahd. Okay. Okay. If you're, if you're against us, you're with Strahd. Right. Okay. I would assume I would have heard Lenara say that, and see this guy sort of surrender and kneel down, even though she's set him on fire. So I'm going to quickly just shout out the same thing to these guys. They're next to us here. Okie dokie. And hope that does something. <laughs> if not, I'll hit him with my spear, because that's all I'm good at. <laughs> oh, not even good at. That's all I do. <laughs> hmm. <clears throat> the one... Like there, also takes a knee. I'm gonna put a little sim. I'm gonna put a little red dot on him. The one directly in front of you doesn't seem to have been affected by your words. Okay, um, because that was just me talking. Am I okay to take a? Oh yeah. Was that a free action? Okay. I'm just gonna turn to this guy and then just be like, "Well, you're clearly working for Strad," and then I'm gonna <laughs> hit him. <laughs> With my spear! Because <laughs> <laughs> just like my words, my spear cuts deep. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna hit once with my spear. I'm gonna hit twice with my spear. Okay. Critical! Both gonna... of those hit, and the second one is a critical hit. Can I punch twice and then do all my damage, or do you want me to do my damage with my spear first? Are you spending a Kai point to flurry your blows? Yes. Okay then, yes, you can do both of your punches too. Pissed me off a little bit. Hmm. Okay. All of those okay. hit. <laughs> all of them hit? Everything hits, including, and one of them is a critical. Wow, okay. So, um... Critical is where I You double uh, the dice roll. Okay. Okay. I, I I never get critical so I can never remember. <laughs> okay, so the second one of them is doubling it. So mm -hmm. it's six doubled. Um and then two punches. I really should make macros. I apologize. That is okay. To everyone. So <laughs> that is twenty thirty-three. 47, 57! Damn! Oh, damn, I think that's the best I've ever done. <laughs> you like slash that. him once with the spear, come across again, slash him across his chest, and then give him two, like, a jumping spin kick, so you hit him twice with your feet in the chest. He Sweet. looks more broken now, but he is still standing. I'm a little oh. bit turned on. <laughs> that's a bad ass, man. <laughs> Yep. Is that oh. a sunset, or are you just happy to see me? Oh my god. It might be glowing a little bit brighter now. <laughs> Ray will be too involved in the fight to notice this. <laughs> <laughs> and that's my go! Okie dokie. Uh, Revenant 1 oh. is taking a knee currently, so that brings us to Theron's go. Okay. Barbarian rage! Five, nine. Wow, okay. 
Uh, the nine obviously misses, but the first and last definitely hit. Uh, you haven't lit up your swords yet, have you? Still. Nah. Okay, so it's the 14 and the 18. Uh, so that's a good 30. That's a good another 32 points of damage to the one that has already taken shitloads of damage. He is now basically tattered, but he is also still standing. Oh, bitch. Even after I... It did probably the best attack I've ever done in my whole D&D experience. <laughs> I'll give, when, when this fight is over, I'll tell you guys their HP and stuff and what they can do. Cool. Because okay. Amara will know it <laughs> yeah, because okay. she would have taken some time afterwards, I imagine, to research Revenant. Yeah. But she didn't roll any rolls this time, so I'm, I don't think she checked into them. Um, Venara, you go. I'm going to bravely... <laughs> Or foolishly step out of um, stairwell and I'm trying to think of my words before I actually say what I say. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try and appeal to the one revenant that's still fighting. Came here to help you. Strahd is our enemy. We would see him dead. If you would help. He doesn't seem to react. Doesn't react? No. Can I sort of turn to the guy on my right and just sort of give him like an exasperated look? <laughs> <laughs> For no reason, it's just funny. That seemed very Lenora. <laughs> She's already better friends with the enemies than she ever was with us. And, and who's to blame for that? I mean, you set us on fire for a lot. <laughs> I mean, not intentionally. <laughs> I was still your friend even after you blinded me and set me on fire and trapped me in a cart full of fire. <gasps> <laughs> trapped you in a cart full of fire. <laughs> we were in a cart and it went on fire. <laughs> It, it, it did kind of explode. Funny. Yeah. Uh, it, it did, but yeah. Okay. okay, sorry. So, what are you doing now? Now that the talking doesn't seem um, to have worked? I'll hold the rest of my turn. Because I don't want to attack him when the other two have kind of kneeled. Okay. Yeah, I ain't got no spells that can help this, I don't think. <sighs> okay, okay. In that case, it is Revenant 2's turn, and he is going to attack Ray. This guy's with Strahd, everyone! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think that first one's gonna miss. Yeah, uh, second one hits. So he... the second one. And he does 12 slashing damage as he cuts you into you with his longsword. Yes. Cool. It's a good thing Amara healed me for 14 before. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> yes. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. What? <laughs> oh, oh. I'm just an ordinary bard. <laughs> Okie dokie. Whose turn is it now? Here's Amara's go. Woo! Excitement! Well, it, how is everybody doing health wise? I don't think we're doing too good, are we? Oh. Not bad, actually. Roll me a medicine check. Roll me a health check. Roll me a check. Where is it? There it is. <laughs> really? Oh. Really? Sweetheart, really? You have no idea. You've seen people get hit, but you have no idea to the extent of their injuries, I'm afraid. 
Ray, Ray has definitely been hit more than Anara or anyone else, though. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm going to cry a little on the inside. <laughs> um, as I do. I need one of those, so I'm not going to do that one yet. I'm going to cast message to this revenant here. No, no, the one in front of Ray, the one that Ray's attacking, that keeps attacking her. Probably because I keep attacking him. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. And I'm going to say to that Revenant... Yes. <laughs> Basically, I've noticed everybody else saying shit to it, and it, the others seem to stop attacking. So I'm going to say to that Revenant directly in his head, if you're against us, then you're with Strahd. <laughs> we really like that line. We should get it on t-shirts. <laughs> he... <laughs> it would work, actually. Does not seem to respond. Hit it hard, hit it fast with a major, and I mean major. <laughs> Just tell me if people got that. <laughs> that. That would actually be Amara's next step, would be a leaflets. Um, <laughs> no, it okay. doesn't seem to have had well, an He doesn't that. care. There's not really much else I could do this turn round. Okie dokie. Yeah. Right. Uh, well, this guy's not for stopping, so let's keep a hit and. Yay. Now, what should we do this time? No, you know what? I'm gonna use a Kai point again and just, just wail on the guy. Okay, <laughs> this is one and two. God damn the second one. God damn. Oh, the, the look first one out. hits. Yeah, out. first one hits. Oh. Damn. Run me okay. some damage. I knew it was too good to be true. <laughs> Oh! It's mocking me! <laughs> you put your spear through his stomach and it kind of shreds apart the last fragments of his spine. He collapses over backwards into a heap on the ground. Is he dead? Can I regain some HP from him? You do indeed. You have killed him. And on that note, I'm going to pause battle. And I'm going to say that we are going to take a quick five minute break. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> I will put some like ambient music on in the background again. And I will Yeah, I'm gonna put some I'm gonna put a little bit of audio in the background and we're gonna have a quick five minute break, everybody. We will be back in about five minutes at ten to ten. Yep. So see you okay. soon. See you. Bye. Bye.
wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. Okay, we are back. Well, hello everybody. Hopefully you went to the bathroom, got a drink and everything. We are prepping to continue with this. So, essentially what happens here is Ray manages to kill the one revenant that was still attacking you. The other two are still on one knee and don't seem to be moving at all. You know, because I killed this um, thing with my spear. Can I get... Roll 2d6. Or do I gain 2d6 HP? Or do I roll it? You roll 2d6. Yay! Let's see. <gasps> oh, maximum. <laughs> awesome. Yay! I'm looking slightly better than before. Yay! That will come in handy. <laughs> awesome. So yeah. By all means. Two, there are two revenants in this room that have taken a knee. One is directly in front of Lenara. Ray has just killed the third. <laughs> I think <laughs> I think Ray is just going to sort of address the room and just be like, I'm sorry I had to uh, kill your friend there. Um, he was gonna do the same. I had to take action. That's it. <laughs> well, I think it's all good, since they know he was working with Strahd. <laughs> and I'm gonna walk oh, into the room and see if the zombie tries to take a bite out of me as I go past. I've just walked in, so... And how was I want to kill this friend, so... I, I was just, just walked off the balcony, casually. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. You are of Order of the Silver Dragon. I mean, now that you're up close, you can see that the tattered armor they wore is... Death has definitely got a silver sheen to it beneath the muck and has got the dragon emblazoned on the chest. We have brought something that was taken from you. There it <laughs> I don't have it. I'm gonna... Go get it! <laughs> They don't seem to be reacting to you at all. I'm gonna walk through and help Theron with the skull. Yeah, I'm just gonna grab the skull and start walking it through and see if they try to take out a chunk of me this time. That might be a thing. They don't react. Okay. I guess we'll just be on our way. <laughs> Inara. Inara, let's let's go. I, I follow him, sheepishly skipping around the edge of the sort of revenants. 
Before um, Ray leaves, can uh, I perception check this quarter? Yeah, absolutely. Well, you'd be investigating it if you're looking at it up close. Oh, an investigate. That's not as good. <laughs> I'm not smart. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Natural one. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's a thing. Roll me a religion check. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, religion. That's this slightly is, better. This is definitely related to the Church of the Flying Spaghetti Monster. <laughs> <laughs> it's slightly no, better. <laughs> That's okay. Even with that, you can tell that this is clearly a chapel to the Morning Lord, who is some kind of variation on what you know as Pelor. Um, there is a... It was the same god that was being... Um, that had been corrupted at the pool in uh, Kresk. From where you're standing, you can also see that the balcony that the stairs lead up to leads up further into what appears to be some kind of tower. There is a tower going up from this room. Oh. Can I see anything up there or not? Just see it goes up to a tower. You can just see that it goes up just to a tower. Cool. Uh, okay, well... I'm gonna follow everyone else then, because I don't think a dragon's gonna be up there. Okie dokie. Uh, Theron, there is a bar across the door which you managed to lift quite easily, it's not heavy. And it's locked from the inside, so you managed to open it perfectly fine. You pop out through the door and there is a small staircase going down into the obvious cemetery. It is as shrouded in fog as the, as the chapel inside was, there is a seven foot tall wrought iron fence wrapping around the cemetery, and in the northeast corner you can see the mausoleum more closely up. You get the feeling that someone is watching you. Can you roll me a perception please, Theron and Ray, since you are the two that are outside currently? Oh. Any sound based? No, it's, this is purely uh, observation. Uh, oops, of course. Ray, can you roll me one too? Yeah. Can you roll me a perception? perception. Oh. oh, sorry. I did not hear you say that at all. You must have, <laughs> you must have, um, like, muted out on mine or something. Um, uh, perception. Yes, please. Keep forgetting I can plus one to all these, can't I? Yeah, it's cool. that is absolutely fine. Um, <laughs> Theron, you don't notice it apart from you. You can. I'll tell you what you can see first, Theron, since you rolled the lowest score. You can very obviously see that the graves that are in front of you. There are several of them that have been ripped open. There is something. That, there are things that have climbed their way out of here. You are going oh, to go fun. ahead and assume it was probably the revenants, since this is a graveyard to the. So Order of the Silver Dragon. Ray, you can see Yay. this too, but what you spot is, as you get the feeling of being watched, you kind of look up, and further up in the tower, in one of the tower windows, you see a, shot, a very well-dressed man with a thick mane of hair observing you from a window. As you notice him, he draws the curtain and, you don't, and disappears from view. Oh, can I... Um, Farron's in front of me, isn't he? Can I just sort of grab onto him quickly and just be like, stop, there was, there was someone up there. Someone I... up there. Up there, in the tower. Great hair, There's... looks kind of fearsome. There's literally nothing there, eh? There was a guy there. Now there's a pair of curtains, but he was behind the curtains. Okay. Well, uh, I guess we'll find out since that's our destination. But it was up in the tower. Wait, it was it up in the tower or up in the mausoleum? It was up in the Sorry. tower above you. Oh, it was in, it was oh. in the tower above us. <laughs> it wasn't in the mausoleum. 
<laughs> Sorry! <laughs> I got way too excited with the fabulous hair, apparently. <laughs> yeah, the mausoleum itself doesn't, you know, it, it's not massively... It's not like, like several floors in it or anything. I'm telling you, someone was up there. Okay, I don't disbelieve you, it's just, can we focus on the task at hand? He is carrying yeah. a giant skull. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I had it with yeah. this goddamn skull on my goddamn shoulders. Rosalia. Okay. Theron, sure. carrying the giant skull of a dragon, heads towards the mausoleum. As you Would you say it weighs 250 pounds? Oh, yeah. You are strong as old. 220. Yeah, essentially, fuck this shit. I want to be done with this damn yeah. skull. <laughs> Absolutely, that's totally understanding. <laughs> I'm following Farron, but at the same time, trying to look back up at the tower. <laughs> okay. See if I can see that guy again. Amara, Linara, are you following them outside? Oh, Amara, even? Linara is already outside. Are you going outside as um, well, or are you Yes, sorry, I didn't move my thing. That's okay. Um, as you approach the... Um, blah, 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 blah. As you approach the mausoleum, you can see the same thing as before, but you, the name carved into the white marble door on the front becomes far clearer. It is engraved with the name Arginvost. Shit. It's not That's the name of the dragon. That is the name right? of the dragon. Yep. Oh. Yay! Yeah, it's good. <laughs> the doorway is heavy and marble. Ray, I think this one's up to you. I'm a little bit busy. I will uh, move around Ferrin of the giant skull and uh, try and open the door. I probably should have checked if I could hear someone inside first. Roll me a... <laughs> do I have a chance to do that or not? <laughs> nope. <laughs> Roll me a straight strength yeah, that's check, fine. please. That's fine. <laughs> I only thought of it after I went to go open the door. Uh, strength, strength, strength. Yes, please. Uh, a strength check. Do, do, do. Why can't I see it? Uh, it's plus one. <laughs> Hooray! Watch this. Oh, Can you roll me a I didn't D20, roll it please? right. <laughs> no! <laughs> Natural one. Ready? Oh, that's like the highest I've rolled all night. Cool, okay. What were you talking <laughs> about? You rolled a critical hit earlier. Yeah, well, I mean outside of battle. Oh, okay. I that's kept like, rolling cause... under 12. Don't forget, <laughs> outside of battle. don't forget, this is an ability check, so your polished stone gives you a plus one to everything. <gasps> Plus one to that, then. Yeah. I keep forgetting I've got this pet stone with me. You have He's got a pet, pet stone, stone now. With you. Okay, yeah. Um, yeah, you manage it. Polished. It's pretty Yay! heavy. It's difficult for you to open, but you do manage with like, literally all of the strength you can muster. You manage to pull the oh, door Oh, my pulling? Oh, I was open. pushing it. <laughs> you manage to pull the door open. Oh. A skull's first. The interior of this mausoleum is dark and dusty. There are four empty alcoves within. Etched into the far wall is a verse written in Draconic. Who can read Draconic? I do not. Oh, oh no. Dwarven. No. No. I've got useless language skills. I'm, I miss Ariel. <laughs> Does anyone hey, speak to Draconic? Dwarvish too. No. Nope. Okay. I don't know if Amara does. <laughs> I've not heard from what? her. Um. Amara does what? Do you speak Draconic? Speak Draconic. Draconic. Oh. Uh, okay. I believe Draconic. I do. Oh! <gasps> Give me a second. Yes, I do, because most spell books are in Draconic. So I learnt Yay. it so I could read spell books. Absolutely Yay! awesome. As you walk in, then, you'll notice this and actually be able to read it. Are people going inside or are they stood outside? Actually, that's kind of important because you won't be able to read it from outside. Uh, oh, man. Yeah. yeah, that's all. Oh, this one. Yeah, I, I, I'd like to read it. Okay. Please move your tokens as appropriate. 
Okay, I move my token to the door and I read what's on the door. If that's oh, sorry, it's inside on the far oh, wall. No, it's inside. Oh, then I walk over to the far wall and I read it, while also rolling a perception and checking for any traps or people hiding in the shadows, etc, <laughs> etc. Et <laughs> Here it is. There is my perception. I rolled a 19. Awesome. Okay, so everyone's come inside. Brilliant. You can read that on the wall it says in Draconic, very, very clearly carved into the stone, here lies the bones and the treasures of Argenvost, Lord of Argenvost Holt and founder of the Order of the Silver Dragon. I read this aloud, like they do in the mummy. <laughs> <laughs> when they're tra when they're reading hieroglyphs. Goddamn Ember Scholars. So... Take that, Neverwinter. <laughs> so the skill goes here. Do I see a spot that would be appropriate to place a skull? There's nothing that necessarily pops out for you. There's um, there's no like you know skull shelf, and there's no actual bones you can see. <laughs> but the alcoves themselves all seem to be like almost like um crypts of their own so each one of these alcoves potentially holds bones shall we investigate shall we round yes there has to somewhere be somewhere here where we can place Theron's new hat Theron's down on one knee sweating beads saying please do why are you having trouble carrying this? It weighs like five times you. It's two hundred and twenty pounds. Can carry this all the way. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go over to Farron and help him because <laughs> I feel sorry for the poor boy. Can I assist in holding it or take the weight for a bit while he has a rest? I did not hear if that was a yes or no. <laughs> Say it again, um... sorry. You were cutting up a little bit. I'll carry the skull. Hello. 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 What did you say? <laughs> oh, I said, can I, can I, um, like help Farron, like, d yes, like absolutely. take it off him or help carry it or assist him in any way? You can help carry it. You would not be strong enough to hold it on your own. But you okay, I your will. Own. I will assist. Please. Okay. <laughs> we double hold the skull, and I say, mages. I assume you'll mean me. Who does he always mean? Come on. <laughs> do, do, do what exactly? Search for where to put the skull. I am looking. Oh, okay. I forgot to say. <laughs> I rolled a 19 again. Is that, a, is that an investigate or a perception? That was a perception. Did you need an investigate? What? Yeah. That was that's my investigate. Oh, nice. I rolled an 18. You know, close. Yay. <laughs> okay, I'll say that Linara, you don't, you don't, Linara and Amara, you don't see anywhere specifically that you think a skull could go, but you don't get the feeling that this needs to be very specifically placed. It just needs to be returned here. Perhaps if we just leave it just at the back. This is the mausoleum, the dragon's bones are here. Okay. I will put the skull down here. And I shall help Theron do that. <laughs> Okie dokie. If there really is a dude in the tower, he's just watched us walk to a mausoleum carrying a massive dragon skull. Yeah. And then potentially yeah, leave without one? <laughs> <laughs> well, and see if that helps shine a light on the problem. Don't. Get out. <laughs> Ray's, Ray's going to have some punishment <laughs> on Saren. Amara chuckles. Was, was that in character? Because Ray's just going to look like a proud mama. She's just going to be like... <gasps> Everything except the badumtush. <laughs> he did the thing. I'm so proud. Oh god, I might tear up. Hmm. Okay. I wish to roll an arcana to see if anything special has happened. 
Okay, could you also roll me a straight investig uh, a straight intelligence, please? Yes. I'll explain why in a second. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Magically, nothing seems to have happened yet. Clev uh, intelligence wise, how do mausoleums work? Things are buried in them. Mm hmm. Oh. No, you don't need to bury it. Wait that, a minute. Things, aren't, things are not buried in mausoleums, they are sealed inside mausoleums. Yes, there that's what I meant. Mm -hmm. uh, wait a minute. No, they don't. Uh -huh. It's too early to have a celebration party yet. This isn't done right. What do we need to do? Well, have a look around. What don't we see? No, no. Unicorns. Light. Sorry, Amara, let me say that again. You need to seal it closed, not do anything in the room. Oh, right. Sorry. I thought we'd have to open it up to put it in to shut it again. Oh, <laughs> you know, <laughs> like, so I was expecting all the bones to not be there. This is my, my fault. This is my fault as a DM wrong, because. Wrong, wrong, thank you for the follow, wrong, Kane. Sorry. The, wrong, Dr. Wrong, Cox is shouting wrong. wrong, wrong. Um, when you. Um, this is me th remembering that not everyone has been inside a real life mausoleum. Essentially, mausoleums aren't always closed up like this. In, in medieval times, you would literally bring a coffin in, put it down, and fuck off again. And then lock okay, the door up well, and seal um, it. So, that's my bad. I apologize. Uh, let's reverse Let's reverse this. Uh, I didn't say that. <laughs> I will start to wander out and this be like, um, bad. just as a question, yes. anybody know how to seal a mausoleum? I'm pretty sure we close the door. I can close the door. Does that seal it, or does that just shut the door? Well, let's shut it and find out if anything happens. All right. right. Ray, roll me a strength check, please. Do I have to roll my... <laughs> yep, that was just... Yes, positive. yes indeed. And I gotta... I gotta remember wrong, the plus one. Wrong, wrong, wrong. <laughs> one. Wrong, mm -hmm. wrong, 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 wrong. I roll it with my not-so-manly arms. <laughs> She's too weak to close the Push door. Push it even. Oh. Yeah. I will help <laughs> with my minus one. Is that a minus one? You'll still get more than me. Oh, no, it's a plus one. It's a plus one on strength. It's a minus one on intelligence, I think. Told you. Both of you together Literally managed double. to pull the door closed. It seals and... Okay. Let me do this. Let me do hey, it Pull the door. Oh no. This is when we find out we've woken up Scott's brother. Why would you say that? <laughs> nah. Fuck. Uh oh. Remember that dragon statue out front, guys? I don't think it was a statue. <laughs> Back away, not today. Disco ladies. <laughs> Silver energy seems to wrap its way around the mausoleum. It starts off as a glow around the base of the building and seems to literally come up and surround the building the whole area seems to glow and then it seems to grow bigger and bigger until it starts to take the form of a large silver dragon perched on top of the mausoleum with its wings curled around it almost protectively it opens its wings in front of you and looks down at you it bows its head slightly and then Hello? it takes, and then it takes to <laughs> wing, and flies upwards towards the the roof of the tower that is behind you, the tower that leads up from the chapel. I take right, a few steps attack of opportunity. Don't attack it. You <laughs> <laughs> can't attack anything, bad Saren. <laughs> wow. <God damn>. <laughs> <laughs> That's the monster hunter in him. <laughs> the dragon spirit <laughs> crashes into the top of the of the tower, splitting open the roof, and bursts into a, a wide glow of energy that all seems to start seeping into the interior of the tower. There's a massive, brilliant flash of light, and light seems to start spreading out from where you stand. 
it spreads out across the valley. It spreads as far as your eyes can see. The sky itself seems to be pulsing. Like, almost like a beating heart of silver energy. This, even with your eyes closed, you can feel an almost pleasant glow. There is a slight crackling in the sky. And while the light doesn't seem to be high enough in the sky to move past the mountains that surround Castle Ravenloft, almost the entirety of Barovia that you can see from here is now bathed in a beautiful glow. Oh. Yay. All of you gain plus one bonus to your AC and your saving throws. Oh. Ooh. Wait, write this down. You also hear, coming from the house behind you, a loud groan, and then almost like there's a heavy weight lifted from the building. It's like you have felt almost intimidated as you've been here, and now as as the groans depart, you absolutely feel like that weight has been lifted. Wrong, 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 wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. Dude. What on earth would ever give you that impression? I can get rid of him, you know, if you really want me to. <laughs> <laughs> but it wouldn't be this group of people if somebody didn't make a joke about semen during a beautiful moment. Who said anything about sailing? <laughs> uh. Ray's just gonna lie on the floor oh, and just, just enjoy the palm. <laughs> just massive face palm. So yeah, for people that didn't hear, you get plus one to AC permanently and plus and well, you get plus one to AC while you're in Barovia and a plus one to all of your saving throws while you're in Barovia. Every, this also Woo. goes for any other creature in Barovia that opposes Strahd. Woo! Yes. <laughs> Sorry, that was a bit mallowy. <laughs> Ray's just gonna sort of lie on the grass and just sprawl out enjoying the sunshine. Ray, <laughs> literally on a grave. No, I'm over here. Yeah, that's Not still a grave. a grave. Everything here is grave. Oh god damn it! Everything's <laughs> grave here. Ray doesn't care at this point. She's just stretching out. She's so happy the sun is back. <laughs> Has anyone ever told you you're strange? I don't glow. Ooh. I'm just glowing with something. something. I would say you. <laughs> Pretty sure she's glowing because of that bird, yo. I'm glowing because of the bird. <laughs> oh dear lord! All right, well now we've done that. Now what? Wrong, 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 now, wrong. I have the glowy skin. Wrong, 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 wrong. He should get somewhere quickly. He is going to be so pissed when he wakes up. Oh, yes. Can I quickly... Can I quickly roll a perception to see if that guy's in the tower or did that dragon crash into him? No, the dragon crashed in much, much higher than he was. Oh. The dragon literally crashed in through the roof. This tower itself is about four stories tall. Oh, okay. And, okay. <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> I'm glad before we leave this place. Sure. Hey. Ready, saw? Sorry, Theron, I didn't hear what you said. Oh, no, I just asked openly to the party. Was that Vlad that Ray saw? Um, Ray? Yes. Was it Vlad you saw? I don't know. I've never met the guy. Have I ever met the guy, DM? None of you have met the guy. Have, have I met the guy? None of you have met him. <laughs> I've never met the guy. <laughs> The voices in my head tell me so. 
Well, if it was, we should at least go say hi. Out. Yes, exactly. Let's go say hello. And Ray gets up off the floor and brushes herself and goes up the steps. Yeah, I guess we have a power to climb. Abby's revenant guy I still follow here? everyone. <sighs> okay. You'll head back inside. The revenants that are that were in here before have all collapsed. Oh. Uh, the ones that were on their whoops. knees are now lying on the ground. Sorry. <laughs> weirdly, well, they're dead. Weirdly. They seem to be smiling. Weirdly, what? Sorry? They're they, smiling. They seem to be smiling. Oh, but also, oh. I... Well. Good. Ray just awkwardly steps around and goes up the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> she like finger guns from like e. <laughs> Okie dokie. Oh, God, why is she as awkward as I am? Okay. Wrong, 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 wrong. I will, if you scroll up a little bit, you will see that some more of the Ooh. map has just been revealed. Oh. And can I, can I move right there? Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. You come up to your uh, in. Uh, SJ. Yards. When I saw him before, would have I known what floor he was on? Um, give me a second. Ooh, okay. Would you have known that from there? Um, I'm lost. I got completely lost. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> This is uh, what you the guy you saw would mm -hmm. have been in on he would have probably been higher up than this. He would have been definitely higher up than this. Probably the floor above. Okay. I shall let the group know this. I think he was higher up than this floor. Okay. Do the stairs go any higher up? Um, sadly from here they do not. Oh. <clears throat> Guess we uh -oh. go further in then. It, mm. There are two doors to the left of you. Is, it, is one of these a door? They're both doors. Yeah. They're both oh, doors. right. <laughs> They are both doors. Sorry. The white lines on the map are always doors. <laughs> oh, sorry. I keep sort of cutting in and out, so I sort of hear bits and pieces. <laughs> just, I'm not ignoring people. <laughs> I swear. Uh, I will... Um... I'm going to very carefully open this door. This one here. Okay, okay. It opens up into a small corridor. Oh. Hmm. There are two more doors. Two more doors. <laughs> There is, there is a door directly in front of wait, you. Wait, and... wait, we can't, we can't simply walk into here. I knew it was coming, <laughs> and yet I let it happen. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, there are two doors in front of you, and then the corridors go around to the north and south around these rooms. Uh, can we see any stairs from here? There are, well, if you walk around, you'll see stairs that go down. This is... Oh. The stairs that go down into the main corridor, but there are other corridors going off all over the place. Uh, corridors over here, over here, but you haven't explored there yet. 
What hmm. direction did you see him? Right. <laughs> no, I don't see him yet. I think we need to get higher up. I'm trying to find stairs. Well, let's see what's behind door number one. And I'll push that door open. The door is a mimic. Um. I know it! <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> you push open this door. And it's pretty grim. <clears throat> it's pretty grim. There is rainwater seeping through cracks in the ceiling and flowing into a, a pool on the sagging wooden floor. The floorboards slowly rotting away. The pool f fills about half the room, and there are bare stone shelves lining the walls. Some of the shelves have been smashed. It, uh, it looks as if it's been potentially looted in the past. Um. Does it look like there's anything? items or is it just all fucked up it's difficult to tell from out there okay i go in how much does your character weigh <laughs> um 172 pounds the floor cracks under your weight wow Please scroll down on your Did screen, Theron, as Theron has just fallen through into the dining room. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm going to just... I'm not going to run in. I'm just going to shout from the door and just be like, Theron? Theron? Oh, he's fine. He's fine. <laughs> just walk it off, Theron. It's cool. He's, he's Theron, you take... Don't worry about it. You take 10 bludgeoning damage. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Theron, you're, you're cracking up a lot for me. Oh, sorry. I mean, unless it was the point where I was just literally groaning. But! I'm on my way back up. And I'm going to go back up the stairs. Ah, uh, he's a trooper. Um... <laughs> but yeah, you can totally make your way back up. It'll take you a few minutes to get back up here. <clears throat> so, rest That's of the party, cool. while he's coming up, what are you doing? I'm going to not go in that room. <laughs> I'm best. gonna try it because I'm a lot lighter. I'm gonna look down here. Wrong, 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 wrong. I'm gonna carefully. Wrong, wrong, oh, wrong, is, wrong. Is there anything I need to roll? To walk into the room? Yeah. Not to walk in, no. There is a. I mean, the floor is crumbling. It's probably not the safest. Okay. Is there anything in the room? I mean, not really. It's hard to tell from out here, but it seems to mostly be empty shelves and a hole in the floor that the water that had been running in through the ceiling is now dripping into and onto Theron. Below. <laughs> oh. oh, that was not what I meant to roll. I meant to roll that perception. Ignore the initiative. <laughs> <laughs> what does she know that I don't? And I'm the DM. Um, there is. Uh, I suppose she wanted to investigate because I want to see if I could spot anything worth entering the room for to investigate. Oh no, I'll keep a uh, no. Investigate is really like up close searching kind of thing. That's like Sherlock, okay. that proper Sherlock Holmes again. From there, you can't mm -hmm. even with that perception, you can't see anything in there worth going in for. Okay, then I move on. I'm gonna sort of walk down this. Uh... Corridor. See what's down there. Okie dokie. Well, I will say that from there you can look to your left and see stairs going upwards. Um, <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> it's the end of a corridor. Ah. Oh. <laughs> there are there are windows on the opposite side, but it essentially just leads into another corridor. Wow, you'll never guess what's down here, guys. There, and you'll probably arrive More at this corridors. point. More corridors. Yay. It's almost like this is a manor house or something. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I rolled my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I was being sarcastic, but... She is sassy. Uh, really? I couldn't tell. Ray <laughs> squints her eyes at him <laughs> Oh, they're gonna be at this all day. So, anyway... I guess we try the rooms? Is there a wall here? Yeah, no. I can't really see this part here. Oh, sorry. I think that's a door. 
I will I will reveal staircase. some. I will yeah. reveal it a bit wider. There is a staircase at the end for sure, and actually down here, you can literally see the room down below that you first came into. So this yeah. is, this is the room where you came in, and then these are the stairs. These stairs here, are the stairs you would have come up if you'd gone straight upstairs in this room, but instead you went forward and under the floor. So this is, huh. the top half of the main, of the main, room basically. Do these stairs go up or down? The stairs you are coming. I think these ones go up. Looking at, go, further up. They do indeed go up. Hello. Hi. Hey, yeah, what they go up. Only looking at. Oh. Oh, cool. <laughs> and there is a door here. I don't know if you can see that very well. I haven't. Difficult to reveal things without revealing too much, but there's an open door there. There is definitely like the corridor splits into a T junction up here. So yeah, mm. and there is a door here as well. Well, I guess while we're waiting for Theron to make his way back up from the dining room, um. Are we exploring the rooms first, or are we just heading straight up to see that mystery man? I also did say that Theron has returned now. Oh, hello Theron. He, he was over here, sorry. <laughs> hey. I thought he was still stumbling his way up. No, he's just grumpy. Did you uh, have a nice trip? <gasps> it was more of a fall, to be honest. <sighs> sorry. But... I vote it we like go you're upstairs. able to walk it off. Yeah, yeah, for now. I'd rather uh, head to where we know there are people in possible danger before exploring. That's a fair point. Uh, Lenara, Mara? Are you okay with this? I guess, yes. Yeah? Yeah. Cool. I shall, uh... I shall leap away and go up the stairs. Boop, boop, boop. I am behind Ray. I shall limp my way at the back of the party. Aww. <laughs> Okie dokie. So you head up, and that will take us onto a whole other map. So give me a second. We are going to end the session very soon. A whole other oh. map? Son of a bitch. Oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> oh yeah. All right, this place. Yeah. 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 Was me thinking there can't be much left because I mean there's only a tiny bit of black space now. <laughs> I mean, yeah, there is only. Oh shit! I've made this map a bit small. That's that's my bad. Oh, I haven't sized this map up properly. Sorry, guys. You are going to be fucking ginormous on this map, and you're gonna have to just deal with it for a bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, to myself. Uh, basically, when we go onto this new map, your characters are taking up a whole square. But if you imagine that each one of these squares is actually a four by four square, not a two by two square, so you should only be in one. You should all be able to fit in one of these squares. So I apologise. I have not sized up the map properly. I will fix this before next week. Um, but yeah, please do scroll until you find yourselves. <laughs> Um, we are big. <laughs> so yeah, you guys all look massive at the moment. Maybe I can just shrink you guys down. Yeah. No, it won't let you shrink any smaller yeah. than that. I just need to size up the map next time. But yes, so yes. <laughs> this is what the map looks like. And if you can tell by the sizing, each of the doors here is pretty much a double door. <laughs> you come up the stairs Seems into a the corridor. And lived up here. Damn it, man. <laughs> Why you gotta be like this? Why are you like this, Theron? Who hurt you? <laughs> so many people. So yeah, I'm trying to reveal where all the doors are. <laughs> there are many doors out of this place. It's quite a big little junction. Uh, I am going to ask Theron. Uh, Theron, can you hear anyone up here? <laughs> what do your bat ears hear? What do my elven ears hear? <laughs> ah, okay. You hear all of the things. 
You are currently in your laboratory. Okay, so um, basically, where you are here, this place is rough and damaged. Um, fair and right where you're standing. I'm going to reveal a little bit more, actually. Pretty much where your character is on the map. Mm -hmm. The ceiling has partially collapsed. The roof over this bit has collapsed a bit. There's a 20 foot diameter hole with broken rafters bisecting it above you. The floor here is piled with rocks, broken tiles, and shattered beam beams and other bits of debris. There is pools of rainwater. The floor here isn't the best, but is much more solid than the floor you were on before. And there is some slight movement slightly southwest of where you are. Hmm. I report this to people. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Does it feel like it's in this area or further away? It's in that area. And you can see that slightly further south to where you are, the wall has collapsed a bit leading into that room. Ah, oh, fuck it. I take a step forward and have a look. I haven't hidden the secret doors on this map either. That was really good of me. Oh, the shit is that? <laughs> the west... <laughs> so, obviously the wall to the east of this room has crumbled, leaving a massive hole in a pile of rubble. There, there are weapons and shields lying on the floor, rusted, broken. They seem to have once hung on the walls, as there are some sun-damaged um, areas that seem to have lovely patches that are roughly shield and sword shaped. There is an incredibly large wooden throne carved to resemble a dragon with unfolding wings on the western wall, where there are also three tall it. windows. Slumped in the throne is a gaunt, armoured figure with one gauntlet wrapped around the hilt of a greatsword. Hmm. Does he look alive? I mean, he looks pretty dead. Dead, dead, or undead, dead? <laughs> <laughs> that is an important question <laughs> I mean okay. kind of difficult to say buddy from this distance hmm. can I uh, roll a stealth and come up next to Farron and have a look yeah yeah but guys pretty much just assume you're where Farron is because of how uh, big your characters are <laughs> okay I I wanted to um, because I, I I saw the guy in the window. I wanted to see if his hair was his... <laughs> You wanted to see if this is where the guy was. The guy wasn't in this room, no. Okay, so this is not the guy. No. I'm gonna... I'm gonna just... I'm not gonna say anything. I'm just gonna look at the guys and just... Shake my head very slowly, like... And just mouth the words. <laughs> No, I'm going to nod right my head vigorously and mouth the word, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to just whisper it there and, is it dead? Is it dead, dead? <laughs> One way to find out. Hello there. <laughs> <laughs> Ray double face palms. <laughs> it's there in voice, obviously. In there in voice, yeah, there. so Absolutely. No, I think that should have been Farron's voice. <laughs> he just suddenly popped. Been watching watch oh, Infinity Dagger. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh, Infinity Dagger. Oh. Okay. Um, as you walk in, <laughs> the creature's head lifts slowly to look at you, and the rotten face smiles. I perished defending this land from evil four centuries ago. Every time my body was destroyed, I found a new corpse to inhabit. You have freed me. Uh, you're I... welcome. <laughs> there is no monster I hate more than Strad von Zarevich. He slew Argenvoss. <laughs> he slew Argenvoss. He ended the life of the man I loved. 
and destroyed the order I devoted my life to. He has died once. He must not die again. He must suffer eternally, and I would have done all I could to make this happen. He smiles again. It seems you are on the same quest. He kind of is holding a massive greatsword. He puts it, like, point down on the floor and then releases it so that it falls forward and clutters to the ground. The light starts leaving his eyes and his body crumples, leaving behind rather beautiful silver armor. We... We should have asked him how. Was that Vlad... I don't know. I mean, yeah, he could have been more specific about his 400 year struggle. He, he said Strahd had died once, right? Well, yeah, he died his human life and came back as a vampire. Oh, I thought he meant he tried to kill him as a vampire. Sorry. No, it sounds like he didn't want to kill him as a vampire at all. He likes his eternal, you know, suffering. He doesn't seem to be suffering much. You know, other than his own internal conflict about the fact his girlfriend doesn't like him. <laughs> to be honest, he sounds a little like a teenage boy. Yeah. Little bit. Little bit. Little bit. Hmm. Well, we didn't find out if that was Vlad, so should we go find the guy that I saw? Maybe that's uh, Vlad. Wait, wait, maybe his armor might say if he's Vlad, and I'm gonna go check out the armor! <laughs> okay. <laughs> you were so excited about that. <laughs> Theron, you find several interesting things. The armor itself is a, has been well looked after for if he's as old as he as, as he suggested, or if he is genuinely, you know, 400 years old, he has kept this armor immaculate. It is um, silver half plate with a dragon carved into the front. It is plus one armor. If people decide to take it. Damn. The great sword that he wielded, obviously it's a two-handed sword, but it was a plus two silver great sword. And as you pick up the breastplate of his armor, something clatters out of it. There is held within a platinum holy symbol of the Morning Lord, worth two hundred and fifty gold. Jesus. Can we uh, uh... show each of these things to the party, knowing none of us can use any of it <laughs> except for the platinum symbol? <laughs> Should I say that again? Shiny. Sorry, Theron, I didn't hear you. You broke up for me. I said I show it to each member of the party. Well aware that none of us can actually use any of this, unfortunately. You do, however, when you pick up the holy symbol, there is an inscription on the back. Ooh, what's it say? Is it draconic? It is not draconic. It is in common. Ooh. It states on it... Um, Ah, I've lost it. Ah, it says on it, To the man I love, may this always protect you. And it, and underneath it, it says, Godfrey and Vladimir. Aww. Aww. Did we ever hear of a Godfrey? No. Was Godfrey the Revenant that told us about this place. The Revenant I don't know, I never met that one. No, the Revenant that met, that was in this place has only ever spoken to Amara, and he did not give a name. No, I saw him on the road. 
Oh, my bad. It's Lenora, not Amara. I apologize. He never said his name. Oh. Aww. Well, unless anybody has any objections, I'm just going to throw this all into the bag of holding. Yeah. Yeah, let's... He seemed grateful. Yeah. Um, Amara twitches uncomfortably but doesn't say anything. Mm. Hey, okay. Amara, look at that over there! <laughs> We're totally not looting corpses! No! <laughs> she sighs heavily and almost as if on cue turns around and dramatically goes, What over where? I throw everything in the bag of the holding, and especially yeah. pat the sun sword to let it know I wasn't even thinking of the grey sword. I'd never cheat on you, baby. Pat <laughs> <Buy> everything, baby. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> Only true ship. True ship. So, shall we One go ship. find your mystery man? Yeah, it definitely wasn't this yes. guy. The guy that you saw was in the was to the north of this place. I think we should head to the north of this place. Let's do it. Okay. Yay. And oh, I'm... Oh, oh wait. Oh, go. Which one should I go to? This one? I think the north one. This... Boop. This one? Oh, God, that stairs. Whoops, I had to... Um... I have no sense of direction. <laughs> You were told to go north. <laughs> I know, but I was... <laughs> I was being stupid and I was facing that way and going, well, I'll go straight forward. That's fair. No, there are two, there are two doors to the north. That to me was not... In here. Sorry. <laughs> oh, there was no hope. <laughs> well, uh, let's see what's behind door number one, I guess. Which one? This one! <laughs> I carefully and slowly open the door, having a look around. Oh, box! <laughs> okay. This room is seemingly a haven for dust and cobwebs. There are th it's full of them. There are three narrow windows that allow a little bit of light into the room, um, which illuminate the bare oak shelves along the wall and a torn padded chair lying on its side near, near a massive, massive fireplace. A picture above the mantel has been slashed, its lower half hanging down below the frame, and an iron door, iron door set in the south west corner of the room hangs open on one hinge. Uh, I wish to go over to the portrait and lift up the bit that has fallen down. I'm sort of standing in the... <coughs> Sorry. Sorry. Sorry, what are you looking at? <laughs> it's a bit cramped in it. <laughs> what are you looking at, Ray? What are you doing? Um, the portrait that's over the uh, mantle. Ah. I wish to sort of lift the bit that you said was slashed down, lift it back up. Okay. Sort of. The picture shows the mansion in its better days, under clear winter skies with snow-capped mountains in the background. The top of the chapel tower glows like a silver beacon. It is literally... When I say it, it glows like a silver beacon, it is literally glowing in the picture. Do you think this picture is magic? Um, well, I guess there's one way to find out, as appears to be the entire saying of this little endeavour. Um, let me find out. <laughs> Where is the thing that finds out? Oh, here it is. Wow. Damn. Literally, as oh, you investigate damn. it to look for magic, the beacon fires out almost what appears to be a 
ray of energy that then fills the room. It turns into the form of a silver dragon. Oh, god damn it. Well, this yes, yes, I'd say this was magical. <laughs> <laughs> yep. It almost is like a pre-recorded message, as I will read to you exactly what it says. In a voice that you have heard before, which came from the fire downstairs, it says, My skull lies in the fortress of my enemy, displayed in a place of ill omen. Return my skull to its crypt, and my spirit will shine here forever, bringing hope to this dark land. And then it fades away. The beacon in the picture stops glowing, and all magical auras in the room seem to disappear, Amara. Well, I'm going to have to say I think he's a little slow on the upkeep. Yeah. But on the plus side, he's welcome. Yeah, he kind of should have thanked us or something. I don't think he even knows we're here. As you say that, there is a faint bit of laughter that comes from above you. And, and a feeling of pleasant energy seems to wrap around you. Or maybe he does. Did you say unpleasant or pleasant? Oh, very pleasant. pleasant. It feels warm and cool. almost like... It, it feels warm. and It's like the kind of feeling you get when you go home for the first time after being away for ages. You feel safe and comfortable. Oh. This feels uncomfortable. <laughs> Theron's like, oh, <laughs> I hate it all. Oh, Theron, don't be such a spoil sport. Oh, yeah, this is too. I'm going to push this door open. Oh, the door to the tower? Yeah. I can't get close to it without... Oh, it's the tower! Not that tower. Different tower. Oh. <laughs> Sadly. Um, what you have just... Oh, <laughs> I've got something for Amara in a minute. Give me a sec. Ooh. <laughs> There and you push this open and there are this room is very nicely decorated there are rich drapes which sadly are faded by time covering up the windows this seems to have been the room that ray saw the person in i wasn't i was lying this is the right room <laughs> oh yay. various yay. things lying around the room mark this out as being argenvost's bedroom the room he mm -hmm. took when he took human form as a silver dragon, which you will know can take human forms. That's pretty cool. Pretty damn cool. Amara! Mm -hmm. You hear a soft flapping of wings. Well, you all hear a soft flapping of wings, although you can't discern its origin. A single piece of parchment blows off of the bed, spir spirals lazily in the air, and lands at your feet, Amara. I pick it up. I'm not bright. Um, this is written in handwriting that you don't recognise for the first time, which is nice. It says, <laughs> My knights have fallen and this land is lost. The armies of my enemy will not be stopped by sword or spell, claw or fang. Today I shall die, not avenging those who have fallen, but defending that which I have and love. The Valley of Argenvostholt. My home where my friends live and where the order of the silver dragon shall fall the evil surrounds me the time has come to throw off this guise and show all of these heathens my true ferocious form i will not walk as a man anymore i shall walk as a dragon let it spark terror in the hearts of my enemies let them tell stories of dark of triumph against the protector of the horrible mountains let Argenvost be remembered as a dragon of honour and valour. My one regret is that my remains will not lie in their rightful place in the hallowed mausoleum below. No doubt my bones will be scattered amongst my enemies like the coins of a plundered horde, trophies of a hard-won victory. Do not fear death. I shall not fear death. Though my body shall die, my spirit will live on. Let it serve as a beacon of light against the darkness. Let it bring hope to a land wrought with despair. Now, to battle and to my final time on this world. It is signed Argenvost, and upon reading it, you and all of you among you are fully healed and gain a level. 
You Sweet. All you all level up. Yay! Yeah. I did that, guys. I read the paper. <laughs> I leveled you up. You're welcome. Oh my goodness. So, before... We have now a four-week gap before we play again, I'm afraid. Because that's where I'm going to end tonight. When you come back, you will be leveled up again. So... You are now level 10, I believe. Yes. yes. I got a seven. You will all be level 10 when you come back after, well, in the very end of August. Mm. The 28th of August we'll be playing this again. So in that time you get to level up. Thank you very much for playing, my lovely monthly players. Yay, thank you. Thank you. I will be one year older. And I will be yes, one year will. older. Um, I'm having my birthday stream on Thursday, everybody. And I'm having my full birthday when I'm in America, because I'm going away soon. I will be one year older too. You will indeed. Yeah. <laughs> I will be four weeks older. <laughs> well, done. well done, Farron. So, well, you're not Farron. wrong. <laughs> you're not wrong, Farron. <laughs> but yes. Um, so, yeah. That's that's it for tonight. Um, thank you, everybody at home. Thank you, my wonderful players. I know I kept you later than you we usually go. Um, so, yeah, please do. If you need to dash off, please do. I understand. Um, Thank you so, for yeah. DMing. I'm gonna miss it for like a month now. A month. Yeah. Yes. Um, for those that are at home that don't know, um, this week I'm streaming tonight. I'm streaming uh, Dungeons and Dragons again tomorrow with the Lost Mine of Fandelva. I have Wednesday off, and then Thursday I'm streaming my birthday stream. I'm streaming Nor near Automata. I'm gonna go from 8 p.m. So I'm gonna go slightly longer, and then I'm going to Empire on Friday, and then we're going to America on Monday. So yeah. Somebody buy him some cake. <laughs> oh wait, that's somebody's gonna be me. <laughs> but yes, Thursday's my birthday stream, so I will be here celebrating, possibly doing a giveaway. I haven't decided quite what how I'm gonna celebrate it yet, but yes. Yes. <laughs> that's exciting. <laughs> <sighs> thank you, my wonderful players, and thank you everybody at home. Um I will see those of you going to Empire, I'll see you on Friday. For everyone who's not. Yeah. Come back tomorrow at 8 p.m. and I will see you for more Dungeons and Dragons. And for my lovely players, I will see you in four weeks. Yay! Yay! Yay. See you in four weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Although I'll probably see you in a stream before you go. <laughs> Yay! But yes, good night, everybody. Um, thank you for sticking around so long. And from Clockwork SJ, this is good night. Good night, guys. Bye. Bye.